Okay. Where in God's name were we? And I need to reset the turn orders, I think. I remember. I remember. The threat is across the board, people. It's Sar and Nalu. There shouldn't be a, one of them alive. Rain, fire, and blood. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to explain my motive. If you can't track me. Um, yep. I want to explain my motive. Because I oh. really That's a bad hope. I don't I wouldn't trust anyone here. Get paid. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. No retribution, but are you going to help him do anything else later on? No. <laughs> I don't, yeah, what is this for? Barony, or, uh, no, it is, okay, Sar is it for, yeah, he's attacking Sar. For the lulls. Alright, is that the end of your movement? Okay, any start of combat abilities? <laughs> um, Necro needs four tech of the same color. I don't know. I guess he's going for two blues. But that doesn't even do it for him. He really needs to be going for Asarl's greens if he wants four of the same color. At start of combat ability is right now. We are in the start of combat. Anything happening? Nope, same, same timing. Start of combat and start of combat round are the same. Okay, morale boost. Anything for blue? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is another bold-faced lie. <laughs> Calling the bluff. <laughs> you piece of shit. Um, what I love too is this is coming off the back of people, I think Zendog being very avidly, and Root too, Root hates that you can show like secret objectives and stuff, maybe not, he doesn't care about action cards, but their argument is always like, well you can just show, so why, why wouldn't you just show to prove it, but it's like, because people don't do that, like people, like they know that, I don't know, it just doesn't happen. People just think it ruins your ability to lie, but like we are watching a player lie right now and do it successfully, so. I mean, I guess you're arguing to just be like, well, the, the other person's bad, but I'm, I'm pretty much sick of that argument in every situation because, like, everybody, when you're under the microscope, you don't realize how many mistakes you make in, a, in an average game. One hit for yellow, zero hits for blue. I know, me too. I mean, you can just sustain on the dread and be fine, too. Wow. He is really good at extorting Necro. <laughs> he's, he's so mean. Just sustain the dread. Wow. 
Wow, he keeps getting stuff from this Necro. Okay, fighter dies. Ed's got all his promissory notes like face up in his hand or on his player board. Birdie! Oh no! What is the matter? Birdie! We're fine. Be right back. What are you barking at? on for a couple more minutes. My animals are fighting. God, Matt's back. Okay, Jesus. Sorry. My animals were fighting each other. I have a couple planets with just flag tokens and not actual flags, and I'm going to fix that so people see me fucking around. Where are we at? Swapping ceasefires. Okay, focus research has been played. Four trade goods for a tech. And Laura, what tech are you getting? I'm assuming infantry two here. Oh, no, plasma scoring, going for cruiser two. All right, Laura gets 
plasma scoring. Uh, James, your turn. What's that, James? Okay. Do you think you never built it? Should we just put it in your bag then? Yes, sir. Alrighty. Your turn, James. Okay, so I was building a home system. Ed, your turn is next. That's correct. You can use chaos mapping on the turn that you pass, but once you have passed and it comes back around to you, no. So, um, Joe, your turn will be next. So Asarl and Nalu are both building at home. Alright. Luke, you're the next one after three build actions in their home systems. A ghost ship appears. Does that mess somebody up? Great. <laughs> everybody's really everybody's just really a big fan of this it's polling very high carry your cruiser two infantry for green carry your four fighters two infantry for purple it is yellow's finishing a build um but you're welcome to take a turn there you go I see a dread, a carrier, and five fighters. Oh, thank you. Yep. All right. So, Laura, let me know when your build is done. James, it's your turn again. I mean, of course, he's going to say he's willing to do another shutdown. But he's just hoping he can turn it politically again. But it worked so well the first time. The easiest way to do Magion is for the player you're targeting to pull all of their action cards, uh, flip them all, pull them out of their hand, group them, and then you can search the deck. Who are you targeting? Hit the G key. Oh. Blue hit G while you're holding them. And then just set them down, and green can right-click and search. Let's see what's up for grabs. Shields holding fire team, diplomacy rider, maneuvering jets. He could get a fifth rider, but it's the worst one. He took the shields holding, of course. Sorry, the turns are behind. It's way behind. It is now Ed's turn. Which he's passed, so it's Joe. Also 
Uh, Luke, you're up. Oh my god. What a monster. Luke, you're up. He's telling them all what Ed's hand was. Because he made you on it. Yep. What's happening? Mm mm mm. That's a lie. Oh yeah. Um, type it out. Message me. Spy has been played. Who are you spying? He grabbed it. Um, Laura. Pan is getting anxious to finish this up. <laughs> you can tell. Um, speaker, Ms. Sorrel, you're up. Which I agree with. There's a lot of game left. And we're still constantly talking through lots of things. Are you passing us, Arl? Okay. Ed has passed. Joe has passed. Pan has passed. Luke, your turn. You're the last one playing in the round. All right, we all passed. Joe, can you claim any public objectives? I can. I can do a public and a... Ooh! Okay. Have one or more ships in six systems. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Uh, Pan objectives. Okay. Uh, Luke. Go ahead and spend it. Any secrets? Um, Laura? I control for industrial planets. Huzzah. Man, everyone's getting this one. It's crazy. We know because we had to do like a thing to get Siva. Uh James. Um b -b 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 where uh, uh blue. Ed. Nothing for Ed. Okay. So end of round three is Sar at four, Barony at three, Necro, Nalu, Yin at two, Asarl at zero. Your final stage one public objective is diversify research, own two tech and two colors. Here come action cards. I'll, I'll mess with it in a second. I'm going to deal out uh, action cards. Uh, so purple has two, yellow gets two, white gets one, red gets two, green gets three, blue gets one. Action cards have been dealt out. Do your homework. Mm-hmm. I dealt three into your hand. Uh, I'm looking at the three I just dealt you. Those are definitely new. Yeah, 
are they disappearing? Okay, they're good now. Yeah, it's being a real jerk today. All right. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. I'm adjusting the scoreboard real quick. Oh, God. The number of times we've rebuilt the family. Oh. <laughs> um, four, three, three, two, two. Oh, who's is messed up? Someone's is messed up. Oh, sorry. I didn't move Nalu up enough. Nalu should be at three. So it's Sar at four, Barony Nalu at three, Necro Yin at two, Asarl at zero. Just to be clear. Um, don't forget to refresh your planets, gain your tokens back from the board, replenish, uh, and redistribute your command tokens. When you are done with everything, hit the return button on your strategy card. That way we know when to go into the agenda phase. Everyone, total up your influence when you've returned your strategy card. Uh, there's little counters over here that you can add your influence to. So add up your influence on your planets and do your thing. Isarl discarded a maneuvering jets. Do you get to say what card it is in your head, Hunter, with this ability? Mm -hmm. If they don't have it in their hands. I don't know. That seems a little busted to me just because then you would be revealing, like, if it was, I don't know. Is that all? That's like a second power to, like, reveal that they don't have it themselves. strategy all right here we go agenda phase senate sanctuary law elect cultural planet attach this card to the elected planet's card the influence value of this planet is increased by two the speaker is i don't have my mini speaker token it is green green any when an agenda is revealed abilities asarl when an agenda is revealed Veto or political uh, secrets. Sure. And Laura, you haven't refreshed your planets or added your influence yet. That's correct. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's trying to fix a Discord issue. And I suppose a tabletop simulator issue. Sure. I guess you can't negotiate. <laughs> I'm going to take the silence as a no. Sorry, I had to go get food. <laughs> Listen, I don't give any, any shits about the projectile. Hey. Hey, oh, we're working. Yeah, we're just trying to get James back in here. We, we lost James. I mean, somebody left the exploring one on top. I think it was Luke. It was Luke, yeah. No, we can't because James is not here. He's trying to fix a technical issue. You know, it was good. I, I was expecting like a six hour game, stupidly. And then on the podcast, you mentioned that they had taken 10 11. So at least my expectations were still pretty good. Well, they haven't been that long since I adjusted my moderating methods um but we'll see how today goes <laughs> hooray <laughs> yeah i mean i i highly i don't think it'll be another four hours but you know there's no telling yesterday's game was seven hours james you're there hello good check Can you hear us, James? Are you here? Oof. You've got quite the ping. Um, James, are you playing? Whoops, I've hit, I've hit the wrong button. Hang on. All right, James, so we are announcing action cards. Do you have any when an agenda is revealed? Cards or abilities? Political secrets? Okay, uh, Luke. And again, this is a good situation where yeses and nos in chat are useful. There used to be a token, but I don't think anybody in here has the no writers token, and I don't have it saved. Luke, any when an agenda is revealed abilities? Red. Joe. Pan. Laura, no. Okay, after an ability is revealed. James, after. No. Luke. Nice. Ed. Nice. Joe. Pan. Any ability? And Laura. Okay, nothing is played on this ability, so the voting starts with Luke. I need to see if I can get those. Uh, you can talk about planets, but the first vote is just to elect a planet. Cultural yeah, cultural, specifically. No, I mean, th this would be your vote if you're putting any votes on it. You can talk about, yeah, I, I suppose if that's what you're saying. Yes, you have to vote something. So no votes. Uh, moves to Ed. Oh. Okay, one vote on Lodor. Go ahead and tap the planet that you want to vote with and then reduce your counter by one. Uh, Ed, you're up.
Okay. Uh, I see that. I put it on your sheet. Found that secret objective. All right. So Ed, flip your, okay, so two on Cornique. Who's got Cornique? Who owns Cornique? And then Joe, it's your vote. So I'm going to go ahead and vote four or five on it. And then I'm also going to play Distinguished Counselor to add five more. Okay, so 12 votes total on Cornique. I'll take your Distinguished Counselor card. Uh, Necro does not vote, so Yin. No. Nothing. And Isarl, final vote. 12 on Cornique, 1 on Lodor. All right, Senate Sanctuary gets attached to Cornique. And we will do a second agenda. The second agenda is... Fleet Regulations Law. For each player cannot have more than four tokens in his fleet pool. Against each player places one command token from his reinforcements in his fleet pool. Starting with the Isarl, Isarl any, uh, when an agenda is revealed abilities. Uh, we're in when first. When is not writers. Yeah, we do it one at a time. A sorrow when an agenda is revealed. Anything. No problem. Luke. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, you said... Okay, okay, okay. All right. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Read the card. We are on when an agenda is revealed. This is veto and this is political secrets. Everyone clear? So, James, any when an agenda is revealed abilities. And who are we on? We're on James. Gotcha. Is literally only veto or... Okay. I'm going to say James does not have... No. No. We're, we're going to go around. We'll come back to you, James. Luke, any when an agenda is revealed abilities. Ed. Okay. Okay, so no abilities from Ed. Ed. Okay, uh, Joe, when when an agenda is revealed. So the answer is no. I do have a very small thing. Those two influence I got on Tony. Those can be used now, right? Because it's still on. If you didn't use it for your five votes, then that's correct. Uh, Necro, when an agenda is revealed. Laura, when? No. Okay, James, now is the writer timing. This is after an agenda is revealed. Are you going to play any writers now that it is after an agenda has been revealed? So we'll do one at a time. All right, so Trade Rider on four. Okay, Trade Rider four. Uh, Luke. No, ha hang on, James. James, we do it one at a time. We go all the way around. That's why this is a slow, annoying process. Luke, any writers? Ed. Okay. Wish I had those writer tokens that make it a little bit faster.
Okay, so. Ed? For or against, Ed? Okay. Joe, after an, our uh, agenda is revealed. No, thank you. Necro. That is uh, Sar. It's Sar. Yes. Necro, any abilities? Okay, necro ability against. Laura, any uh, after an agenda is revealed? James, second opportunity. Okay. A Imperial Rider, for or against? All right, Luke, any riders? Uh, Ed. Yeah. Yeah, there is a sabotage winning uh, timing for all these. Uh, Joe? Necro? Um. Yes, we can. Sure. We are on Imperial Rider has just been played by Asaro. Um, I will not be uh, using any um, Laura, I think you're cutting yourself out. Yeah, I am. No sabotage on Imperial Rider. Thank you. Anybody else? Three, two, one. All right, so Luke said no, Ed said no, Joe said no. Necro, any more abilities? Okay, so a politics writer against Laura. Any after an agenda is revealed? James? We lost James. James, are you there? Can you hear me? James, James. Me neither. Not even close. I mean, well, yesterday a game got canceled for it, so I guess that's worse. But I wasn't in that one. Yeah, um, Robofish had quite the doozy of technical difficulties, and it had to cancel the game. Luckily, they had only completed the draft, so they weren't like in the middle of a game or something. James, James, can you hear me? James. Yep, we can hear you. Are you there? Are you, do you, is it reconnecting? Okay, tech writer against. We'll keep going around. Are you able to reconnect to the game? Is it working? Whoop. Just... Wow, it won't let me pull it from his hand. It just shoots it right back into his hand. This is super interesting. Oh my god, TTS is being an absolute nightmare. There's a tech writer against, um, but I can't... There, I can copy it. Alright, uh, Luke, another opportunity. 
We're, we're, yeah, we're still going around with writers. Round and around and around. All right, Ed. No Joe. Would I really have been able to say no three times and then yes? Yep, that's correct. Joe? Okay, well, no. Okay, Necro? Okay, Laura. Laura, any writers? Uh, James, if you're there, did you know that you if you, did you have any intent to play any more writers? Okay, James is done with writers. Um, I think is that the end of it? No, we gotta go back around to Necro. So Luke, any more writers? There are eight total writers. Yeah. Luke? Yeah, we're still on writers. I'll say Ed. Joe. Necro. All right. We, we made it, everyone. We're here. There were six writers played, so there's only two more in existence for now. The law is fleet regulations for each player cannot have more than four tokens in his fleet pool and... Estarl will get five trade goods, and Necro will get a space dock, and uh, Sar will get to Diplo a space. Against is each player places a command token from his reinforcements in fleet pool, and Estarl gets a point and a tech, and Necro gets to copy a tech from those who vote against, as well as speaker token and three action cards. The voting starts with Luke. Luke, you're up. Luke. Joe and Laura. Here's my thoughts, Luke. This is Joe. Two of those three of us have to work together. I'm very much leaning toward four rather than against. Eight votes for purple. Okay, make sure you guys tap those planets. Clear and Laura. Laura, your turn to vote. Okay, twenty-eight four. The speaker has uh, not voted, but the, it's it passes past the uh, speaker. It is now a law. Fleet leg regulations. Everyone needs to make sure they have no more than four tokens in their fleet pool. I believe everybody's under four currently. So nobody needs to drop down, but nobody can surpass four from here on out. I'm going to blow this up. Now, uh, Isaro, you can go ahead and gain five trade goods. Necro, you can gain one space dock. And Clan of Sar, where does everyone need to drop a command counter from their reinforcements. Please not name a system. Yes, we've done the other two. Uh, Mechatol Rex. Everyone drop a command counter on Mechatol Rex from your reinforcements, please. I see one, two, three, four, five command counters. All right, we are at the start of the strategy phase with uh, Esarl as the speaker. James, go ahead and pick a strategy card. James, are you there? James is taking tech. Luke, you're up. Oh, no, James. 
Are you? Okay. Why not make him give you the his support for the throne? Are you there, Hunter? All right, Joe. How does this keep happening? Where did you set it? Just so we know what's going on. Set it up above because there's too many boxes. Yeah, it's it's dropping into your stuff on your tray. So just leave it up above by the game board. It's okay. Uh, Joe, you're up. Okay, Pan, your turn. And Laura. All right. Top of the order for Joe. Go ahead. Okay, that 
Okay, <clears throat> Joe activating Meharzul. Let me know when your movement is done. Just like the longest agenda phase ever, because people don't understand the mechanics or the rules it was just very slow six writers came out on fleet regulations but the imperial and politics writer were both put on against so it became pretty obviously that people were going to vote for there were only three people voting so now people can only have four tokens Yeah, you're good. Okay, any at the start of combat abilities? Okay, uh, I see one carrier and three fighters. Go ahead, purple and roll, and yellow, one carrier. Two hits from purple, no hits from yellow. I got it, I got it. It's solved. All right. So, are you invading Mehar Zul? Okay, here it is. And uh, Luke, you're up. <laughs> three people got riders but they were like the kind of junk one it was a trade rider a diplo rider and a construction rider all the all the good riders got put on against uprising which planet luke He's going to elect a uh, one non-home planet controlled by another player, then gain trade goods equal to its resource. He exhausts one non-home planet for trade goods. Pan has been getting extorted. I mean, everyone is constantly extorting everyone. And Necro keeps being kind of like willing to pay. So he's lost a lot over the course of this game just in paying people off. And he's Necro. Yeah. We should probably just sit down with it after this game. Yeah, Laura's not very happy about the four on fleet regulations. Which planet? Say it again. Freya. Freya. All right, so we exhaust Freya. Barony gains three trade goods, and we pass the turn to Pan. Sure thing. Okay, two for Freya. Sorry, sorry, I'm just... The zone now. All right, go ahead, Pan.
Asaro, what are you doing? Oh, you were reading the chat. No. That 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 was from earlier. No, no, no. She was Laura's talking about what happened in the agenda phase. Uh Pan, it's your turn. I'll be right back. I'm back. Yeah. I mean, I think that, I think that agenda helped. Like Laura saying, Diplo and Mechatorex, I think SAR is going to... He said he can't claim two publics. Like, he doesn't really have two publics available to him. Ah, oh, fucking... We lost James again. SAR gets a Mechatol point. SAR... Can, has two and two colors. So just has to research a yellow. Maybe. Yeah, it just needs to move off in one spot and nobody else can take Mechatol from him. So he'll probably do the adjacency first. Take any of those systems, then play Imperial, and then get his second yellow tech. So Pan, what was your action? Sorry. Okay. Fighters and a Destroyer in Abyss Freya and Laura. Yeah, I know. No, you're okay. Uh yes, you're one over. You can you can only have Yeah, but you then the space dock holds three. You don't have cruiser two. So Oh, you have hybrid crystal fighter two. My apologies. You're good. Actually, no, you can't. You can't because even one of the fighters is caking up half of a capacity or half of a fleet supply. So I will not be the okay, so spending one less dollar. And Laura, go ahead. And James, I don't know if you're aware, but we did lose you again. You dropped. Okay. Sure thing. You're good. Laura's got like a rainbow hand over here. White's trade agreement, blue's trade agreement, green's ceasefire. Okay. Insubordination has been played on Barony to make Barony lose one token from tactics. Insubordination on Barony. Okay. And Barony loses a token. Uh, that's from... Uh, yin. There's nothing else to negotiate. It's gone. Okay, uh, it is now technically a Sorrel's turn. James, it's your turn if you knew what you were going to do. Otherwise, we can wait for you to get in here. Luke, did you lose it? Okay, Luke, did you lose a command counter? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, drop one into your this bag right here. All right, and so uh, Asarl is using Magion on Luke. Is that correct?
James? Oh, God, what is happening? Stand by. All right, green can search that deck. Uh, yeah, he's mage yawning right now, so he has to take a card, um, but then it's blue's turn. He took a morale boost. All right, go ahead, blue. Using chaos mapping. What are you building? Where's the Dreadnought going? Did you already place the Dreadnought? In the next slot, it's the only okay. One. And you've spent four? Okay, spent four. All right, go ahead. Whew. Just looking for the sweetest slice to go for. All right, Sar activating Wellen. Go ahead and do your movement. So he needs to hold this and Tarman for one round. Ooh, he could also get three tech specialties. No, he doesn't have a third. This is just two adjacent to Mecha's all. I mean, he could try to get three tech specialties. He's not leaving enough behind to do a follow-up attack on another tech specialty, but he'll be set up to maybe do it next round. The one thing I miss about is that That's your movement? Yeah. Okay, any start of combat abilities? Three, two, anything, Laura, start of combat? All right, so any retreats or withdrawals? Okay, Laura has declared a retreat. Blue, two dreadnoughts, one cruiser, please. Laura, one dreadnought, or one destroyer, please. One hit from blue. Destroyer dies. Are you invading? Yes, I will be invading. Okay, taking well on from Yin. It is now Joe's turn. This Necro flagship is still in an interesting spot. I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see what a Necro is going to do. Pan, did you copy that? Yes, okay, there, here he goes. Okay, Ed, copy that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> He's got far more after than I have, so. Well, to be fair, to be fair, I mean, I understand the Verity and Nalu argument against or, uh, Gold Tour. But Nalu can get those fighters in there, and Verity obviously with the supply. Yeah, I mean, Nalu can have huge, huge uh, ships to win the 
It's a weird moment where it's like, oh, it's like, I saw that, like, oh, you were going to benefit from that agenda. Obviously, you were going to benefit from the agenda because you were out to the most recent time everyone else. But, like, I didn't care. That wasn't the important thing. The important thing was the medical rec thing. Joe, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of upset about the medical rec thing, but I'm more upset about the fact that apparently I was the only one who really saw that or cared. So I guess my priorities are, like, really bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna play a flank speed. Okay, flank speed being played by Nalu on the empty space by Necro's home system. Go ahead and move. <laughs> is that true? What is their deal? Oh, okay. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Who, Joe? No, he needs four hazardous planets. And I'm also gonna take one flashbang. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he does need that hazardous planet down there, so. And that's only his second hazardous planet, so it's like super. Okay, movement is done. Any at the start of combat abilities? No, okay. Uh, purple? Oh. Okay. Okay, committing three ground forces. Uh, so purple, one dreadnought, one carrier, four fighters. Uh, yellow, what? It's three. My bad. No problem. Uh, all right. So Al the Alistair and three infantry versus one dread, one carrier, four fighters. Go ahead, purple. Uh, oh, sorry. Any retreats or withdrawals? Yellow. Uh, go ahead, purple, and roll. And go ahead, yellow. Purple got two hits. Two hits each. All right, both of you account for two hits, please. Mm-hmm. All right, sustained damage on the flagship and one. Oh, there's a direct hit. He doesn't have a sabotage. 
All right. That's the end of the combat. Uh, Purple, did you account for your two hits? One tap on the Dreadnought and one fighter. Got it? So this is the uh, Dreadnought sustained damage. Is that the end of your turn? All right. Uh, it is now Luke's turn. Uh, yeah, you're copying Sarween. Is that what you said? All right. Okay, everyone give me in chat how many you're buying, and then it'll be Pan's turn. Just let me know how many command tokens you're buying off of leadership. I see three for purple, four total for white, one for yellow, three for blue. Uh, red and green, are you guys buying command counters? James is saying no. Looks like, okay, so three for Laura and Pan, go ahead. I'm waiting for no sure. No, he's been saying he does have one all game, but he does not. All right, Pan. Wow, Gen Con hotels sold out immediately. That sucks. So much for the Omni. I'll try to find something close, I guess. I don't know. We need to get those tickets like yesterday. I hate that he didn't retreat that flagship. I guess he just wanted to build in both of these space docks, but... finally gonna take him out again oh you missed earlier he tried to he offered laura to come take new Alb. he was like do you want to come uh like lease new albion for a little bit basically saying like he wanted to invade it and kill the one ground force later on all right invading new albion are you building necro Okay, hey, Laura, you can go, but um, Necro does have a build to take. Trade. trade time. Go ahead and grab your three trade goods and your two commodities, and then start. So who, who all are you refreshing, Laura? Uh, I am refreshing um, uh, everyone except Anne, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, because I'm getting stuff from everyone's corner. So I don't have 
Agreement and my trade agreement, so you should be paid by F in the language. I have no idea why he's not doing it. I just delivered your trade goods, uh, Lore. Lore, um, do you want to replenish pads? Laura, have you gained the goods for white and blue's promissory notes? I don't think I have my two five. Well, I guess you're keeping for a trade agreement. That sounds very reasonable. Alternatively, I can sell it to you, and you can use your pension. Yeah, I'll buy it for two. Laura, were there any transactions between you and Nalu? Yeah. You're not neighbors. This is why trade has to be done in order. I still refresh Joe. I didn't refresh. So what if we say I'll still give you a trade good later when we can like agenda based this thing? Uh sure. Whatever. I'll count on you. Alright, then you just need to go down one trade good. Already done? So can we talk in a um in a Okay, Sorrel using stall tactics. What'd you discard? A warfare rider discarded. Uh, all right, Ed. Yeah. Unless he doesn't use Imperial right now, which he, of course. Okay, chaos mapping. Depends on what the first stage two is. Ha! <laughs> oh boy. That's three. It's probably gonna be a carrier because he's kept the board and that much. Uh, Laura's days are numbered. Oh, really? The first stage two is conquer the weak, take someone's home system. <laughs> and blue, blue is just like pointed in that direction. <laughs> I guess it could also be. Purple, sort of, but not really. Laura's is the best option as of right now. Oh, he's not doing Imperial right now. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get the four tech. He's trying to get the tech specialty out of the way. I don't think people are going to let him. Although, lots of people are running out of actions. All right, Thibba has been activated. Because he still could have gone for this after playing Imperial. Yes, that's correct. Sure. I mean, not, my excitement is irregardless of what the final movement is.
Get out of my butthole. Nah. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I would, I mean, I would say drop them on your sheet, but that just, that, that is unfortunate. Also, uh, James, I believe irregardless is a word. It's in Miriam Webster. Uh, blue, blue, is your movement done? Correct. What was the word in question? Irregardless. Blue, or is your movement done? Okay. End of uh, movement, start of combat round. Anyone got start of combat round abilities? Okay, uh, I see one dreadnought. One carrier, three fighters for blue. I see uh, one carrier, one fighter for Laura. Laura, are you announcing a retreat? Uh, never mind. You have no valid retreat locations. So, blue, go ahead and roll. No hits for blue. Laura? One carrier, one fighter. Blue's been rolling like dog shit today. Two two hits for red. Uh, so blue, account for two hits, please. Yeah, blue's been rolling really terribly all game. I mean, I feel like he's gotten like maybe a total of like two or three hits to his name. All right. Uh, I see one dreadnought, one carrier, one fighter versus one carrier, one fighter. Any retreats or withdraws? Go ahead, blue. Yes, go ahead. Attacker rolls first. Um, I'm not sure I understand the question. Both of you take a hit. One fighter for blue, red. Okay, shield holding played by the yin. Um, third round of combat, any retreats or withdraws? All right, blue, one dreadnought, one uh, carrier versus one carrier, one fighter. Or got zero hits, blue. One hit for blue, so red account for one hit. Okay, losing the fighter. Fourth round of combat. Uh, one dread and one carrier versus one carrier. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, blue. One hit from blue. No hits from red. Red needs to account for a one hit. Okay, that is the end of uh, space combat. Sar wins. Sar, will you be invading, uh, bombarding? Okay, you do not have plasma scoring, so just roll one bombardment for one dreadnought. You can basically tally in one dreadnought and hit the bomb key. Yep, you got it. 
No hits. I see three invading one. Bye. Uh, Blue, go ahead and roll your invasion. Three infantry against uh, Yin's one. Oh, no. Great. Indoctrinate. Did you spend the influence yet? Two trade goods. It is now a two on two. All right. Uh, blue, roll me two ground forces. And Yin, you do the same. Yeah, reroll one round of uh, ground combat. Okay, fire team is sabotaged. Hand me the sabotage. There it is. All right. Um, so second round of ground combat, two v two. Laura gets one hit. Blue gets none. It's now one invading two. Blue roll one. Uh, Sar, go ahead and roll one ground force. No hits for blue. One hit. All right, invasion is not successful. Um, Joe. Daxiv, go ahead. You. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, Joe's out of the thing. Got it. Okay. Oh, are you building? Uh, I mean that was a those were terrible rolls. It wasn't a great it wasn't a great invasion, yeah. You, you, two ground forces. Yep. Well, I mean, right, yeah. He should have saved the two dreadnoughts for Thibba instead of two on Wellen. Because I don't even think there were ground forces to defend Wellen. So he didn't he only needed to take one ground force there and then take the two dreads to Thibba. Right, right. Flew too close to the sun. Ed's building. Yeah. 
it's for the betterment of the game. I'm actually gaining absolutely nothing from playing playing this. That's not entirely in the pool. That's like the most uncommittal statement I've ever had. <laughs> The unfortunate part of talk to push to talk is no one can hear me well. Yeah, yeah, true. Alright, so it's me now. I'm going to activate my home system. And I'm going to spend three resources. And I'm going to build six sliders and one infinite. Okay. Mm Next up is Luke. T's ready. Yep. Yeah, what what happened to Sarl again this game? I mean, he has scored literally zero points. Uh, Luke, what you doing? Okay, looks like activating home system. Okay, building at home. Pan, uh, you're up next. Luke is building at home. All right, is that the end of your movement? This is the end of my 
Okay. Any at the start of combat abilities. All right. One cruiser from Necro versus one... I mean, one dread from Necro versus one cruiser from Yin. Go ahead, yellow. Uh, any retreats or withdrawals? Sorry. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Okay, you both scored one hit. Both of you account for one hit. The Dreadnoughts has sustained damage. Killing the cruiser, getting hypermetabolism for Necro. Okay, let me do this real quick. Taking the coward's way out again. God fucking damn it. All right, Laura, go ahead. Your turn. Why? I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, all right then. Um, yeah, that's right. I won't be happy with this fight. I won't During have to do it. Oh, I, yeah, I can do it after yeah, your turn. Oh. Okay. I'll give it back. I'll give it back. No worries. Only if you give me your ceasefire. <laughs> no. Wait, when, my ceasefire is out. No, I don't. Well, you can't. He can't give it back. Is essentially the the point. Like it's not. It's not in his hand. He he doesn't have any control over giving. He has to attack Laura. for red. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Stall. Sorrel is stalling. Ed, your turn. Uh, Sorrel, what action card are you discarding? Looks like a confusing legal text. I'll be right back. Do you think 
Okay, sorry, Matt's back. Yeah, so, uh, Sar, what objective are you claiming? All right. Uh, is anyone doing the secondary of Imperial? Uh, I, already, I think we already got our... <sighs> okay. I did not get my secret. Oh, sorry. I got my secret. All right. So, Joe, did you get one or do you need one? I need one. Yellow, are you doing the secondary of Imperial? Pan. Nope. Okay. Uh, Laura got hers. Green. White hasn't gotten one. All right. We are now done with Imperial. Uh, Joe, you're up. And in future Imperials, uh, we will have to do it in order from now on, too, because many people have three. So we'll have to be pretty diligent about it from here on out. Luke, are you there? Oh, boy. The communication this game has really shit the bed. Right. Right. It started really interesting, but it's, like, gotten out of hand what they're trying to promise each other. understand my position why I'm saying this because you know that it's such a good thing. I appreciate it. You're right, of course. Um I just I'm too thin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the token off. So where did you take it off? Hold off of my head. Okay, who's doing the secondary of warfare? I see green. Anyone else? One from red. Not blue. White and yellow. Are you doing the secondary of warfare? No for yellow. White? Okay, no. so just green and blue. I mean, just green and red doing the secondary. Um, Luke, you're up next. I see Laura's build happening. Let me know when you're ready, James, if you've got your build ready. Okay, Luke is passing. This looks like a Sorrel spending nine. Which nine did you spend? No, you're fine. You don't have to scuttle anything, I don't believe. Or are you... Oh, your fleet supply is only two. Yeah, you need to kill one ship. Or not build a ship. Okay. Um, did you spend your nine, Nassarl, already? Looks like it. Okay. And a Dreadnought. 
four, Laura. Three trade goods. Is that what you spent, or did you spend a planet? Zobat. Got it. All right. Uh, Luke passed, so Pan. Politics. Are you taking the speaker token? Of course. Okay. Here comes two action cards. Who's doing the secondary of politics? I see green. Red, are you doing the secondary of politics? Uh, white, are you doing the secondary? White, are you drawing action cards off of politics? I don't want to be in a whole open war with you. I'm not going to. I'm not doing like, I will kill you uh, because you attacked me here. But I'm not going to help you in the game. I'm happy uh, for both of those things. That's good. Hmm. Yes, it is. Hang on, James. Oh, oh, you're saying off politics. Yes, 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 you're good. You're good. Sorry. M misunderstood. And then I am going to build uh, two infantry using the uh, uh, using podium tool. Okie dokie. Uh, what you doing with those agendas, Pan? Yeah, just in a moment. Both on bottom? Okay. Um, yeah, do you need me in the secret conversation room? Here I come. Uh huh. No, 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 no. You have, yeah, it's not public knowledge. You do not have to tell him at all. No, you definitely don't have to tell him. Um, it's, it's not public knowledge. He was double checking if he had to reveal if he had that he has blue ceasefire. <laughs> What's the thirty seconds for? It's Laura's. Oh wait, Laura just finished her turn. Sorry, it's um, James, your turn. James? Is James the one on the buyer break? Why are people taking pee breaks like moments before their turn? Yeah, it's really gotten bad. I mean, it's kind of been technically slow in terms of just how much deal making is constantly happening, and the objectives weren't great early on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're kind of begging for a SAR runaway at this point just to make it happen. Right, for a game. All right, tech is popping. Post in chat if you're doing it so I can see it, please. What? What's going on? Tech is popping. Uh, what two tech are you doing, James? Okay, any mass and gravity drive for green, white. What are you getting? Any S? Blue says no. Purple. What are you getting? Pan. They're doing tech. Do you want to buy command counters? Okay, Pan's buying command counters. Uh, Red's getting Graviton laser systems. Raz is jumping to fleet logistics. All right, next up is Ed. Don't forget to please spend your strategy counter and four resources. Okay. 
So he's going. What is he trying to accomplish? Just re sitting on Mechatol. Sar activates Mechatol. Guess he's going to maybe give up on the tech specialties. Did he get tech? He said no to tech. No, wait. Yeah. Yeah, because now he's not, definitely not getting a second objective. Of course, he didn't... No, he didn't say... Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. He didn't save four resources for it earlier. He over-chaos mapped, which I feel like I see Sar do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, Joe? It's going to get real bad in here. Right. Right. So even with at six, he'll end next turn at eight. Hopefully draw a secret objective. I don't know. It's probably two more rounds before anything happens, though. Oh, man. Joe's building at home. Uh, Luke has passed. Pan, you're after Joe builds at home. More effort for Necro. Where'd that war effort card go? Got it. <laughs> All right, one cruiser. Uh, Laura, you're up next. Joe is still building at home. Uh, Laura's passing. James, uh, Joe is still building at home. Joe has three trade goods. Okay. Sounds good, Joe. Uh, James, go ahead. James is activating Tarman, moving from Eyelash, invading Tarman. All right. Uh, Ed, your turn. Making the cruiser point at the eyelash. Ed's passing. Joe? Mm -hmm. passing. Joe passes. Uh, looks like it's coming back around to Pan. I can't, it's, yeah, I'm like losing the ability to even focus on what this game is about anymore. One cruiser, five fighters. Is that the end of your movement? Okay, yeah. start of combat. Purple, you're being attacked. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
Okay, fighter prototype has been played. Morale boost. Um, you can put the fighter prototype on your sheet, and it'll account for that. Any other start of combat abilities? Sounds like a no. So yellow, you're first. Yeah, it should it it should account for it. Okay. Uh, so yellow, one cruiser, five fighters. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No hits for purple, three hits for yellow. I'm copying fleet logistics. Okay, fleet logistics for necro. Purple, account for three hits, please. Any retreats or withdraws? Sure thing, sure thing. I just took it off your sheet. Yeah, yeah, I got it. No problem. All right, any retreats or withdrawals? Nope. All right, I see one cruiser, five fighters for yellow, one dreadnought, one fighter for purple. Go ahead, yellow. And go ahead, purple. Two hits for yellow. No hits for purple. Uh, purple, go ahead and account for two hits. All right, and a combat. Necro wins. Um, so next up, Laura has passed. It is James. James is activating RNAM Mirror. Okay, James is playing flanks. Oh dear. Was the PDS on Barrig or Lerda 4? Or somewhere else entirely? Okay. All right, so flank speed has come out from James after activating RNAM Mirror. Go ahead and move. I think those were all there. There was kind of a mess before on Retilian. All right. Um, how's about... We any um, start of combat abilities from either of you? Green, white. No abilities. All right. The combat in RNAM mirror. Any s start of combat abilities? All right. Go ahead and roll. Green. One cruiser. One carrier. And white. Roll for one carrier. Are you retreating? Sorry, White. Any any retreats? Yes, yes, Are you picking up the ground force? No. Okay, ground force stays. There's been a retreat declared. Green, go ahead and roll. One cruiser, one carrier. White, go ahead and roll one carrier. No hits from green. No hits from white. White, where would you like to retreat the carrier to? Okay. Activating Lazar Saculag, moving the carrier. Uh, green, are you invading? Okay. Just dropping two ground forces on mirror. Got it.
All right. Uh, Ed has passed. Joe has passed. Luke has passed. Pan, you're up. Pan passes. James, you're up. James passes. Starting with Joe, any objectives? Okay. Uh, Luke. What's happening, sir? Objectives. Okay, two texts and two colors for Barony. Take one for me. Uh, any secrets for anyone so far? Necro gets two tech and two colors. What's that, Laura? Ah, ah, gotcha. Okay, Yin gets two and two. I got it. Um, any secrets? James, any objectives? James? Okay, ships adjacent to a home system, and that's over here at RNM Mir. So James gets two points, two tech, two colors. Um, Ed, any points for you? All right, the end of round four, or whatever round this is, one, two, three, four, five. End of round five, we're looking at Sar at six, Necro, Nalu, Barony at four, Yin at three, and Isaril at two. Here is our first stage two public objective. Conquer the weak, control one planet that is in another player's home system. Let me pull it back over here. Don't understand why these always fall through. Let me divvy up some action cards. Uh, purple gets two. White gets one. Yellow gets two. Red gets two. Green gets three. And blue gets one. Yeah, just one for me. Thank you. That's the end of the deck. So anybody that needs to discard, do so, and then we will reshuffle the deck. Um, but let's discard everything that needs to get discarded first. See any experimental battle stations from Asaro? Anybody else discarding down to seven? I think we all look good. All right, I'm going to shuffle the discards. And everyone do your cleanup. Remove your tokens from the board. Refresh your planets, refresh your tech, repair your units, gain and redistribute two tokens unless you have hyper, in which case gain th and redistribute three. When all is said and done, please return your strategy cards. When I, saw, when I see all eight strategy cards on the side table, I will start the agenda phase. What's the, how's the uprising? I, I'm, if I remember, you cannot use Lucky Shot to stall. But I don't know, there's all this new crap that has come out that has made it very confusing. When did the crap come out? 
like literally Friday. Uh, not a new living rules, but Dane sent out a bunch of emails on Friday. I'm missing two more strategy cards, Ed and uh, Luke. Just let me know when you're done doing all your stuff. Gain and redistribute. Just return your strategy card when you're done. Everyone start totaling up your influence if you haven't already. It's like at least three players haven't. All right, everyone is done. Let's go ahead and total up influence, please. Looks like they're getting added. I'm gonna drag the first agenda over here. Here we go. First agenda is, Minister of Sciences Law, elect player, the elected player gains this card when the owner of this card resolves the primary or secondary ability of the technology strategy card. He does not need to spend resources to research technology, starting with the speaker who is Necro, any when an agenda ability card or ability, uh, got anything, when? No. Uh, Laura, when? James, when? No. Luke, when? No. Ed, when? No. Joe, when? No. Nope. Pan, after. After an agenda is revealed. Nope. Laura, after. No. James, after. No. Luke, after. No. Ed, after. No. Joe, after. No, after. All right. Let's go ahead and start the voting with Laura. Okay, Laura abstains. Uh, green? I'm in the, l I'm in the last place. Looks like I'm going to hurt. Give me four on the sorrel. Four on a sorrel. Go ahead and flip four resource worth of planets. And next vote is Luke. Luke, your turn to vote. Five votes on the barony. Ed? Do we have a deal? Okay, 14 votes for blue. All right, speaker doesn't vote, so we now tally up the votes. 14 goes to the Clan of Sar. All right, our next agenda. I'm sorry, I'm like fixing the, the leaderboard too. Um, a support for the throne was given to Yin.
All right. <clears throat> Second agenda is shared research law for each player's units can move through nebulae. Against each player places a command token from his reinforcements in his home system, if able, starting with Necro, when an agenda is revealed. No. Laura. No. James when? No. Luke when? No. Ed when? All right, Political Secret is played on uh, Pan. Uh, Joe, any when in agendas revealed? No when. Laura, when? Second opportunity. When? No. James, when? No. Luke, when? No. Ed, when? No. Laura, after. I would like to put a leader for right. Okay. Okay, a leadership writer goes down four. Uh, James, after an agenda is revealed. Nope. Luke, Ed, no. Joe, no, from James. Laura, second opportunity. Laura, any more writers or assassinate representatives? Okay, so we have a leadership writer on four, which is to let units move through the nebulae. Against, everyone who votes against puts uh, tokens on their, uh, sorry, places a command token from his reinforcements in his home system. So vote starts with uh, green. Uh, yes, you're right, each, each player, not everyone who votes against. Every player would put them in there. Um, Uh, white, Sorry. you're fine. <laughs> white, any votes? That's correct. Okay, purple. Okay, abstain. Uh, speaker doesn't vote. 13 votes, 4. Uh, so, everyone can go through the nebula. And, Laura, you can get 3 command counters. And that is the end of the agenda phase. We are at the start of the strategy phase with Pan as our speaker. Pan, you get first pick of strategy card. Yeah, it affected two or three players. Yeah. 
All right, Pan, you're up first. <laughs> I have played some fuck wild games while I enjoy. I've also just in generally enjoyed shenanigans before. Uh, and also, if you have never played Twilight Imperium with a bunch of people who are all extremely high, honestly, don't. The only way I ever win. Um, I'm like taking technology. I do want to do work at the start. Okay. It's four faces away. I mean, I'll give you a trade good to not take that. You want to take that? Okay, can't exchange it yet during the strategy phase. You'll have to exchange it on an action during the action phase. Okay, warfare for. Okay. Go ahead, Luke. Luke, your turn for strategy cards. Luke, are you there? Luke, 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 Luke. I would like the discussion with you regardless of the highlight. I forgot to write down the time code. Your turn to pick a strategy card. Get it. Push for it. You should push for it, Sar. You could win with it. I don't know. That's true. This 
risky to throw that out when the bow can be on the item. I have two sabotages. I can also take that. No. Ah. Uh. No, 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 no. He doesn't have public disgrace. Star has public disgrace. Oh my god. Nobody touch anything. Nobody touch anything. Do we need to leave again? No. Just nobody touch anything. What button did you press, James? I don't know what key does that. I'm sure a lot of people are not really. No. I don't hear the No, I don't hear the first I had like six seven minutes of just checking to figure out what to do. But like, I saw our girl on the front of the car. You should hear some care. I have I, two sabotages. One for Ed's uh, public disgrace. One for you, Steve. You save us and take the care That's the that, 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 did you find a guest stuff out of us? So like, I mean, that's what I got. Uh, is there more? There, nobody took Imperial, and so Luke is making the table pay him to take Imperial. Um, Sar has a public disgrace. They're just letting Sar have it. So this is good for us, like for you and I. Sure. Oh, he might want to play public disgrace on the politics just to keep it from being one step further away from him. <laughs> Let's just stop. I'm your best friend. <laughs> What's it worth to you, best friend? So, Sar's path. If he can keep Mechatol, which he doesn't have the Diplo thing, but if he can keep Mechatol, he gets a point from Mechatol. His first action... He doesn't ha the problem is he doesn't have a point that he can score if he plays Imperial on his very first turn. So he has to take a home system before Mechatol. I mean, before Imperial. So he needs to take a home system and keep Mechatol for two rounds if he's going to get three points. And then he can score. No, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's, it's, it's worth more to you. I, I'm either last or second or asking for a bird. I'm going to take them okay. 
agreeing to make use of it. The problem is he's only got had one Sarball basically this whole game. He never got a second one really up and running. I don't think Sar gives a flying shit. <laughs> okay, public disgrace on Joe's politics pick. All right, public disgrace goes through. Politics gets returned. These come off. Uh, go ahead, Joe. Something besides politics. Well, if Sar plays it right, we could see it end this round, but I kind of don't actually suspect it will. It's not easy enough of a path to get there. All right, Nalu takes trade. Uh, Nalu, you're up. Yeah, because it's, it's the difference of one position, but I mean. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this table has been so mean to each other and so undercutty that, yeah, there's, like, no trust anymore. Yeah, exactly. And James is a very talkative man for someone who has two points. <laughs> Loves the thrill of the sport. I'll be right back. Also, I was really not expecting this game to go past 5.30. Um, and that was sort of my cutoff. So I don't know if... I'm trying to figure out if I'm staying the whole game or not. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking. Never mind. Okay, and Alu has activated in Mecha Tall Rex. What are you moving? I just want to make sure I get loose. Commissary as well. Are you adjacent to Luke? 
Got it. Oh yeah, the little destroyer. So what's getting swapped right now? Hello. All right, I don't, I don't fucking know. It looks like it's right here. What was the support for the throne for? I'm here, I'm here. Hi, hello. Start of combat, no, no, start of combat abilities is first. Anything from the aggressor? Purple. Joe, no? Loop, uh, sorry, uh, Ed, any abilities? Really? sure can you guys hear me at the moment okay yes, also these tokens need to be replaced with plastic but we'll get there all right so no abilities sounds like uh, any retreats or withdraws nope. all right uh Purple, one, two carriers, and four fighters, please. Okay. And also, in all fairness, there's a PDF as well. Yeah, that was bef would have been before uh, start of combat. Okay, my bad. So what, what do I have to say that I want to my PDF in combat? Uh, before combat. <laughs> we... Uh, Ah, sorry, I wasn't talking enough. It, we can go back to it, I guess. Okay Alright, PDS. No plasma scoring, so one PDS shot. Please just take initiative and do the thing. Yes, that is correct. All right, so going forward with all the other things, no start of combat abilities. Are you announcing a retreat? Blue. All right, purple roll. Uh, blue. Mm -hmm. One hit for blue, so purple needs to take one hit, blue needs to take four hits. Yeah. 
It is. All right. Um, are you invading purple? Playing a disable at the start of invasion. The PDS has no space cannon or planetary shielding. Um, I see four invading three. So purple, roll me four, please. Uh, purple is invading. And three for blue. No hits for purple. That's not what you want to see. No hits for blue. Second round of combat. Four rolls for purple. And three for blue. Three hits for purple. One hit for blue. So blue, I believe that's everything. Purple needs to lose one ground force and take Mechatorex. I've just passed the card over to purple. Is that the end of your turn, Nalu? It's potentially not. Uh, I'll tell you the honest truth. I wasn't sure that I'd win that. Um, and now I'm a little uh, nervous. Uh... Big thank you for the Okay, um, James. Looks like a signal jamming. Who's that being played on? Okay, Sar from your reinforcements one command counter on Mechatolrex. And Luke, your turn. Um, stand by. Nope, never mind. Tarman. Tarman, it's good. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we did the same thing back to back. All right. Luke has activated Sara's homeworld. Can I just say, James, you were, uh, you were mean when you said we had an empire, and I think that uh, I asked for the good of all. <laughs> Are you, is that the end of your activation? Uh, are you invading, Barony? I take a rag. Just rag, not Lysis? This is like that classic mistake. I think it's important to know Necro's going in there too, buddy. I think that's the point. Yeah. All right. Um, so Rog passes into the hands of Barony, and it is Pan's turn. Pan, what up? Yeah. He lost a lot of his slice the last two rounds. And then had a big failed attack. And That's sort of the problem with the Mechatol play, is from there you're surrounded by really bad resource planets. So like for Sar, choosing the Mechatol direction has both times proven to be a little bit... I mean, last time obviously Sar ended up winning because he retreated back into his home slice... But the star that just keeps going runs out of options. Uh, yeah, I would do it in Discord. We've had a player mistakenly uh, mistype the whisper, and everybody saw what they were trying to ask me. So you might just do it in Discord. Yeah, that, this takes less time, though. Uh, Pan, your turn. Uh, nobody. Joe is texting me a question. Discord right now. I, I trust my ability to do it in PPS. Is that cool? 
Yep, I am slash black. Hopefully he gets it right, I guess. <laughs> This has been a crazy game in terms of just like, I don't know. I can't even process where everyone's units are. They're just all, it is such a rainbow. Okay, movement is done. Um, any start of combat abilities. So purple forgot to score his win a combat against the player with the most victory points. And he wanted to see if he could still do it, which, no. Okay, uh, Necro, I see one Dreadnought, one Cruiser, and five Fighters versus one Carrier. Go ahead and roll. Mm-hmm. So he has to attack Sar again. Purple does. If he wants to get it. All right. Uh, white, rolling one carrier. Yeah. And there's not really blue in range for him to do that. So he bungoed that one. One hit. No, not forever. Like two rounds. Yeah. Okay, fighter gets destroyed, carry gets destroyed, Necro wins the combat. Getting dread not two. And are you invading? Or first are you bombarding? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh no plasma scoring, so one dreadnought, bombarding Rog. Why is that <laughs> no one's innocent. <laughs> One hit, so one infantry on Rog needs to die, and then you're invading Lysus too. All right. I believe that's the end of Pan's turn. Is that correct? Nope. nope. All righty. Uh, I just put Lysus two by your yeah. cards. Uh, he also needs he needs one more blue tech or one more green tech. Activating and building at Abyss Freya. Alright, he's building Laura. It's your turn while Necro builds. Hey, golly, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to activate technology strategy card. Tech! Uh, and I'm going to buy two tech. Okay, what are you getting? What? What are you getting? What are you getting? Uh, I am going to buy two tech. What uh, tech are you getting? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Copy that. Copy that. Uh, it's all you getting tech. White's getting geranium armor. Maybe he might be getting something. Okay, Pan's getting some command counters. Okay, uh, Ed, what are you getting? Hey, Ed. Ed, what are you getting? Hey, Ed, what are you going to get? Second. All right, Ed's getting Dreadnought too. Joe, what are you getting? What are you taking? Daxiv? Um, Necro's still building. Sure thing. Uh, and that will conclude my turn. Ding a ding a ding a ding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. And then your uh, command counters. Okay. Uh, Ed, you're up. Hey, Ed, I have a suggestion. What's that? Uh, run and hide. <laughs> Rude. My suggestion is don't betray your friends by being attacked by them. <laughs> I thought that attack was already planned quite some time ago, so he's in the uh, discussion. It was planned, and I rejected it every time, and it only became necessary. You step. I would believe you, but I think you would have taken politics for it by Imperial, so I think that was uh, a long-standing plan. Okay, I'm doing a text back. Okay. Mm Do a chaos mapping before this. Okay. Before this, or you're setting the command counter down while you chaos map? Don't you dare make anything healthy. Don't you dare make anything healthy. Say again, Luke. Every time he sets stuff down, it goes into a different box. He's like you, your first five games. I got it for you. No, I copied it for you. No, I copied it for you. So we'll I, we'll see if we find it. <laughs> you don't know the pain I've been through. <laughs> These little one-liners. I'll be right back.
I need my Nilla wafers, damn it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, hey, can you also record on Wednesday? Do you have Wednesday open this week? I just wouldn't mind recording Wednesday so we're not having to record an episode Sunday after a game. Sorry, it was you couldn't chaos map the dreadnought. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll do something else. I'll talk to something else in another time. <sighs> yeah, Star has two resources. Total. Two dollars. He had to take back his. With the chaos mapping from the Sardok that was here? Yeah, exactly right. Um, okay. Running away, sir. Yeah, I'm just going to build... Um, <laughs> Where's Kaisen? Why do I have Kais and Raron are the two by, by your home system. Okay. Right. Why do I have this planet? I shouldn't have planets at all. <laughs> Who's going to win this board game? Is it Nalu? Okay, I'm finding a cruiser in the hex and two infantry where I land up top of it. Or is it Necro? What are you building off of chaos mapping? Cruiser in the hex. It'll be a cruiser for two, and then I'll have two infantry where these space can go. Got it. I'm so sorry, everyone. That just came through in the comments. Yeah, I'm saying. I really buggered up my uh, hex. That's why I was there. Yeah, he doesn't even have enough money to ever get tech. Like, he can't. No, he's Minister of Sciences. Never mind. It's gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Joe's turn. Okay. So I'm gonna play considered planet and I'm confirming that the planet needs to be exhausted, but it doesn't need to have I mean unexhausted, but it doesn't need to have infantry on it. That's correct. So that's going down on Necro's tech side. Okay, exhausting Tekaran. All right, unstable planet. Uh, James. Got it. Yeah, you guys are going to need to keep me honest with the fleet logistics. I don't know that I'm going to remember to cue you on that every time. Right. Oh, 
would he even be moving? Carrier fighter. Mm. Mm hmm. Sure is. <laughs> I believe in you. Is that gravity drive? Yes. Okay. Is he bailing on Tarman to do it as well? Right. You just zone out and become a, yeah. Mm hmm. Right. Just making mistakes on stuff. Is that your final movement? All right. Uh, start a combat ability. Has anybody got one? All righty. Uh, any retreats? Are you shivering in your timbers? No? It's on your sheet. Uh, no, it's just where I put it. Right there. Um, so one carrier, one cruiser for Isarl, go ahead. One dreadnought, four fighters for Necro, go ahead. Mm-hmm. He's got one, two. He's got two. He's got two. No hits for green. Two hits for yellow. So green needs to account for two hits. Okay. Shields holding. Uh, second round of combat. Mm-hmm. One hit from yellow. No hits from green. Sure thing, blue. Uh, green, account for one hit, please. This was ill-advised. Okay. What does that mean? Second shield holding. Copy that. Um... Uh, so block the hit. Third round of combat. Green. Cool. Yellow, go ahead. One hit. Three hits. <laughs> All right. Yellow, take one hit, please. Green, take three. Okay. All right. And Necro wins that combat. Uh, destroyed a unit. <clears throat> Looks like a copy of Magion. That's his fourth faction tech he need, or fourth tech in one color for his secret objective that he was just handed. <laughs> Alrighty, that's the end of James's turn, I believe. I feel good because he's speaker next. I don't see why Ed would public disgrace his imperial pick. Oh no, he already public disgraced. Uh, destroy a flagship for war, son. Which, that's not a thing, really. Asaro's flagship is in his home system. Oh, 
Careful. Uh, no, no, no. His are face down over here. If you right-click this deck and hit the search key, you can look through them. He's got two sabotages, a skill to treat, and a political stability. <laughs> Laura in the chat. Hey, Pan, I don't still owe you the trade goods, do I? Pan just says one. <laughs> All right. Those decks can go, or those cards can go back into James's hand. That was Luke's turn. Pan, you're up. Right, you gotta hit hit the three key. Right, correct. I'm gonna say construction. Um, it's so. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah. No, uh, Luke, you. Use Meiji on implants as your action. I mean, Spinet. Yeah, Spinet. I called it Meiji on, but the thing. You are correct that it's at the start of your turn. So you do still have a turn. That was my bad passing the turn. Go ahead, Luke. All right, anybody doing the secondary construction? Give me a yes or no in chat, please. Hmm. Red or blue? Blue's thinking. Red, are you doing the secondary construction? Laura? Oh, sorry. You cut yourself off, but it sounded like a no. No, I didn't. And uh, secondary for Ed, go ahead. Uh, Luke, where did you put your structures? I put them both on Lodor. Space talk on a PDS on Lodor. They did a. They received a support for the throne. Okay. Yeah. Nobody. Sure. Okay. Everybody's still got them in their hands. So sorry. Just people wait for, yeah. Well, especially on TTS, where like, like when when Bark Knob is standing above a table at Gen Con, it's very easy, or I would say it's easier to see everything that's going on. When I zoom in on one corner of the table, I am literally a hundred percent chance missing all the things that are happening elsewhere. Yep. Right. Right. Just about building out of a Sardoth. I think uh, you can, uh, you know, take a look, figure it out. Just 
just in case anyone cares, I can't school you. So where did Nalu attack Blue? Oh, right. Okay. I'm just like, my brain. Why have four players not scored spend eight resources? That drives me crazy. It drives me wild. Pew! The target hadn't been announced. Yeah. I'll say that much. Uh, it did hit the table with the thing, and oh, you like. Can't. Never mind, I also you probably should uh, It's fine because she also didn't announce the target, so it would be like a weird middle ground, anyways. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean for it to hit the table. It's fine. It was, it was so, anyways, go on with your discussion. Let's let's go through people's secret object objectives again. What do you say? It's been a while. Necro has got destroy a flagship or war sun and own four tech of the same color. They just got their fourth green tech, so that's one thing down. Uh, Yin is two faction tech or four culturals. She has nothing close to either. James is destroy units with space cannon and. Um, Cut supply lines, which is what he was trying to do early, or with not much avail. Okay, which system are you selecting as the system that units can come from through uh, other units? It is one destination or one you know, one starting system. Okay, so units from Arnor Lore can go through enemy units. Where did she activate? Oh, and I can tell. Flank speed comes out. All those good. Sounds like it. If I the sorrow, what are you talking about? All right. She activated Mechatol. Um, is it okay if I position my uh is, is it okay if I move this solid fighter puzzle and position my ship on uh System, just to make it easy. Yarp. Of course, thanks for asking. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. She barely needed the flank speed. I guess it's just for the carrier. All right, is that your final movement? It's 
All right. Um, so. You can foresight out. Foresight. 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 Okay, so any at the start of combat abilities? Um, I have nothing. Okay. Uh, no any retreats? Ah. All right. The men are coming. Uh, so go ahead, Laura, roll your one dreadnought. One, oh, I'm sorry, uh, anti fighter barrage. One destroyer. No hits. All right, now Laura, one dread, one destroyer, one carrier, two fighters. Versus purple, two carriers, three fighters. Laura gets three hits. Purple gets one hit. So red account for one hit. Purple account for three hits. Oh, dear. Takes a uh, sustained damage on the dreadnought. Carrier and two fighters go. Carrier, fighter, and three ground forces retreat to Meharzul, and then Meharzul will get activated. No, no, no. He got Quan. no. Oh, he could. The fighter's there. You could go to Quan. Damn it, Joe. <laughs> All righty. Laura, are you invading Mergadur Riksh? Boop, 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 boop. Begin six on Hecatol. All right, so I'm just grabbing one fighter because I guess when I got retreated, somebody moved it. There's right there. Cool, but I should have two fighters. Oh, yeah, sorry. What? Um, no, you. You took two hits. You're not loose. You're not loose. You're not loose. Oh, I. Never mind. Or three hits. the deal I'm confused what's happening So I took one hit on a carrier and two remaining hits on two of my three remaining fighters And you had one fighter Got it great All righty Ed Don't forget to activate that system. Thanks, doing it. Here he comes, here he comes again, here he comes again. <laughs> There's his balls again. Oh dear. The feeling. <laughs> orf, Storf, Dorf. It is currently Ed's turn.
Who? I don't think anybody has unexpected action. It got discarded or forever ago. No. Forever and ever. That's correct. Oh, the SPC button is the is sorry, I misheard you. I I wanna die. No hits. Um. All right. Any at the start of space combat abilities. Is Horrell's going to play a skilled retreat? Has anybody got anything to say about that? No? All right, Isorl, you go ahead and you skill your retreat there. You go on and get, boy! You stinking goblins. You're good for nothing, louses. It's all I'm here for. Yes, 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 if you want to. But it stays on the ship. It does stay up in the air there. So there's a concern that Star can get the two points back. Uh, you could double win the fight. Oh, I'm not concerned at all. We are at the invasion step, which starts with bombardment. There's nothing to bombard. Are you invading? Ed? Uh, yeah, he'll have a space cannon roll. No, he's not. All right, invading Barrig. Barrig is given to the clan of Shar, and play passes over to Joe Arnalu player. If everyone hasn't already, you should look up Ballybeg Post Office on Facebook. It's like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. For some delicious Irish humor. All right, Joe. It's all yours. I don't have a dumpster nearby, love. Sorry. <laughs> He's a fucking lawyer. He's a fucking lawyer, I tell you. <laughs> I'll be right back. I don't. I, are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you back? Yeah, no, of course. I just. I just want you to know, Tiger. You. Agreed. I just dropped this 
good on you and accidentally flipped it to a commodity. Weep. 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 Oh, dee, toy, dee, toy, dee, hard. Oh, I don't, I don't. Oh, yeah, let's meet him. Yeah. So we're just watching a trade happen, eh? I'm gonna go take a piss. I hope I don't bother you. Oi, well. You'll wait your turn! I'm back. Okay, bye. Alrighty, James. All right, Sorrel, if you can close that search menu. All right, uh, Luke, your turn. B. Completely true. You can bring one ground force. Where was it? Great. 
Gross. Gross. So did you play Kingdom Hearts 3 yet? Me neither. For what? What are you trying to do? Oh, good. All right. Nobody touch anything. It's fine. Okay, what everyone has to do is leave the game, and then we're going to crash the game and restart the server and everything, and half an hour later you'll have your playlist card back. Hooray! What planet card was it? Also, this is why I generally advise just avoid the delete key altogether. There it is. Lodor's back. All right. Carry on. Yeah. There's five total dreadnoughts, right? How many total dreadnoughts are there? Yay! Um. <clears throat> the, the best advice is to drop and rejoin, honestly. has been the worst tabletop simulator experience of my life. It's the end of your activation. And then Pan's next, actually, despite the turn order currently. We're just waiting for him to rejoin. A cat. Yeah. James, I'm happy not to move on your um, system. Pan, it's your turn whenever you're loaded in. Yeah, he moved and built at Lodor. Mostly built. Don't call me that. That's correct, on Sar. Alright. It's not, it's start of turn. Or no, wait, Mage on. I get him, I'm getting, I get the two of them mixed up. That's the problem, yeah.
All right, Laura. Well, I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. You guys should see Knob Daddy moderate. What a man. He's just got, in person, he's just got so much to offer. It's like you would never disobey him. The bee hole. Yonder bee hole. All right, is that the end of your movement? Man, everyone's just crushing in on... All right. Any at the start of combat abilities? Sounds like a no. Declaring a retreat for white. Yeah, you don't have anywhere to go. In, no, only with a skilled retreat can you go into an empty system. Yeah, a regular retreat has to be a system with units you, or planets you control. All right, I see one Dreadnought for red versus one Destroyer for white. White, go ahead and roll as well. Hey -ya! One hit, Destroyer. I hate these boards because they are convenient, but they slow, that like the waiting on them to do things. All right, that's a dead Destroyer. Is that the end of your turn? All right. Uh, Ed. Which one? Which ones aren't loading? Um, Happy is such a funny word here. <laughs> oh, my notes have gotten so terrible. My wrote my notes are worthless at this point. No, I don't think so. You know someone's having a bad time when you look over at their player board and it's just like, I don't know, fucking here's my my ground forces and copy that. Green giving up one to blue, is that correct? Clan of Sar. Sar goes to seven. 
Let me update my thing. Doodle doodle do. Doo -doo. Sar still has his support for the throne, doesn't he? That's it. No? What? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. This thing's impossible to. Oh, this is great. Oh, sweet Christ. All right, what public objective could you claim? Okay. Would you like a secret objective? Here it comes. Deal to blue. Purple, are you doing the secondary? We do have to do this in order very slowly. Nobody jump out of order on this one for me, please. Okay, purple is. I will deal one to purple. Purple is at three, but has one scored. So purple, you'll have to return one to the pile. Bye. He just drew Control Mechatorax and have three ships above it, so he just got the luckiest secret objective draw of his life. All right. I've returned one. I'm shuffling. Yellow is doing the secondary. I will deal one to yellow. Yellow is at three with none scored, so yellow does not need to return any. Uh, Laura is doing the secondary. Deal to Laura. Laura has one scored and three in hand, so Laura, I'll wait for you to return one. Great. Um, no for James. Luke, are you doing the secondary of Imperial? Okay. That is the end of Imperial. Play passes to Joe. Uh, antivirus is not an action. That's incorrect. Stalling the witness. All right. Passing for Nalu. Uh, James, you're up. When you get loaded in. Birdie. Sorry, I'm back. James is doing leadership. White is passing. I mean, not passing, but but following. Yellow's following. Red's following. Blue's following. Uh, purple's following. One, two, three, four. All right. That's basically the end of leadership. Yeah, he's amazing. Buying a bunch. Buying a bunch. Hunky dory doodly bunch funch munch. So bunch. All right, Luke, your turn. Luke passes. Pan. Are we gonna see like two more rounds? Cause that's this is the this this is so few points that people have scored. They just keep getting each other's way and keep like letting them buy each other off. Oh, 
What's the new secret objectives I got dealt out? Four hazardous planets. Wow, lucky lucky Necro gets four hazardous planets. Although on the turn he was also going to do the faction tech. So slow slow going for him. Laura needs three space docks. Nasarl didn't get one. Luke needs five dreadnoughts. Lucky draw there. Four PDS, five dreadnoughts, and needs to unveil a flagship, which he hasn't built. Yeah. Uh, Ed got industrial planets, which is not ideal. <clears throat> Although, no, it's not ideal. He is near a slice with lots of industrial planets, but... Necro... No, Nalu got... We already said control Mechatorex. So that's a point for Me Necro, and then is waiting to... Would, would have had the action phase secret objective, but messed it up. But has it still as an option. So Nalu has two easily doable... Well, I say easily. End of movement. All right. Start. Okay. Any other start of space combat abilities? Where is this happening? I'm not... Oh, there. It's just for one fighter. All right. Let's r roll it. Are you retreating? Sure. Go ahead and roll, Pan. Two dreads, three fighters, one carrier. The fighter hits. And the Necro gets one hit. So yellow account for one hit. Okay, sustain the Dreadnought, and invading three onto Quan. Quan will pass over to Necro. Is that the end of Necro's turn? Um, yes. All right, Laura. <sighs> What's happening? Laura, it's your turn. Little ditty. Uh, Jack and I and two American kids. Lucky shot. <laughs> Cold. Why did you just do that to me? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I'm inclined to agree with you. I know. All right, Laura passes Ed. Here he goes. Where is he going? Nobody knows. Oh, where is he going? Hi, Birdie. How are you? Hello, Birdie. Birdie, Birdie. Never sleep. How dare you? 
You'll never leave. You'll never leave. Are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, wait. Why did I think Nalu was on Mechatol? I don't know what I was thinking. I had, I really had it in my head that Nalu was on Mechatol, but I forgot. Yeah, but no, I forgot. Yeah, and moved in. Whoopsie doodle. All right, Ed. What's he on about? He wants to take two. He really wants to take two industrial planets and fuck Laura over right now. That's what he wants. To, oh, wait, he doesn't have ground forces. Don't do it. Don't just fuck Laura over for nothing. There's not really anywhere you can go. Here's another. That is in the direction of industrial planets. Sar activates RNAM mirror. Are you invading? Or first, are you bombarding? All right, three rolls. No worries, he says. He's dead, Jim. All right, you have one infantry. Where is it invading? Alright, Ed invades Aranam. Is that the end of your turn? Yes, it is. Thank you. Alright, Joe has passed. James.
Scarting a political stability to stall. Luke has already passed. Pan, you're up. It's just because Hunter is not talking much. Ha! Oh. I'm arguing it's Hunter. Okay. Is that, the, is that the end of your turn? Okay. Laura. Didn't Dane, I know that there were weird rulings recently, but didn't Dane specifically rule that Lucky Shot can't be played on your own units? That's weird. It doesn't say it on the card, but like... Yeah, yeah I know. Um, lots of things do and don't say lots of things, it seems like. Mm-hmm. I mean look look at look at where yellow is. Look at where blue is. Green's all the way over here. Okay. Activating home and building. Ed, you'll be next. Laura's building at home. Mm-hmm. This game has taken its toll on everyone. Go ahead, Ed. Ed passed James. Joe passed James. No. James has not passed. What are you talking about? James is over here. James is a sorrow. James is currently activating Lazar Saculag. Just okay with this. All right. That is the end of movement over here at Lazar Saculag. Are there any at the start of combat abilities? This isn't a done deal. <laughs> Lots of nines need to get rolled. All right, James. Uh, sorry, White, are you retreating? If you retreat home... Actually, no. Uh, no, yes, you would have to kill something. Yeah, we won't retreat. Okay, no retreating. Uh, James, go ahead and roll me one carrier, one fighter. And Luke, go ahead and roll me one carrier.
Alright, shield holding comes out. Alright, Alright, shield holding comes out. Uh, green needs to account for one hit. Never mind. Sabotage. So both of you need to account for one hit. That's a... That's a pricey sabotage. Alright. And are you invading both? Alright. Lazar Sakulag passes over to the Isaral tribes. Orbs. All right, Luke has passed. Pan. All right, Warfare is getting popped. Which token are you pulling? The one on uh, Lodor. Laura, are you doing the secondary? Is anyone doing the secondary of Warfare? Say now or forever hold your peace. Green is. Anybody else? No. Don't really even see much more money out there. Nalu, are you doing the secondary of warfare? Oh. No, you just said no. Doi. Secondary of warfare. Anybody, anybody. All right. Let's let Green build his stuff, and then it will be Laura's turn. Huh. Huh. Okay, what did you spend? Six. Okay. Uh, Pan, no. Yes. No, that was Pan. Laura. No, you're good. Laura. But fart. Okay, Ed has passed. James. Passes. Pass, 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 pass. Back around a Necro. Yeah, we're going to have to call it too late. Sorry. I am sorry. This happened. We actually didn't. We we made the mistake of not doing that yesterday, and it may have decided the game. Someone didn't catch it until after the fact, though. Like, the game was over, and then they were like, oh, shoot. Transpare is still plating. So, Pan? <laughs> right. <laughs> it ain't my favorite thing to do, I'll tell you that much. I ain't proud. <laughs> Is that the end of your movement? All right, taking Wellen. Wellen goes from Sar to Necro. Is that the end of your turn? It goes back around to you. All right. All right, Necro passes. Joe, can you claim any objectives? Copy that. Any secret objectives? No. All right, James. All right, Luke. <gasps> How could you? Have five dreadnoughts on the board. All right, this is officially in a game. All right, Pan, you're up.
for Hazardous Planet. Sure do. Sure could. All right, Laura. And Ed. Um, I wasn't very keen after the hands of the points. It's a pretty rough time. Alrighty. Um, so, at the end of round, whatever this is, six, we are looking at Sar, Barony, Necro at seven, Nalu at five, Isarl, Yin at four. Your second stage two public objective is. Unify the colonies control six planets that each have the same planet trait. Here come some action cards. First up is purple. Purple gets one, two. Green gets one, two, three. White gets one. Yellow gets two. Red gets two. Blue. I only gave yellow one. Here's a second. Blue gets one. There's your action cards. Do your homework! I'm losing it. We are currently at the eight and a half hours of recording. We are at eight and a half hours in the recording. We're not doing anything. Yeah, there's not. I mean, there's. It's people have been too far away. There's nothing to analyze. It's as if it's, you know. It's still. Yeah, it's like the mid game. We just got to let things keep shaking out. Now, right. Well, we'll start talking about it here in just a second. Okay, we'll start talking about it. <laughs> Has everyone scored exactly one secret? Yes, that's cute. Oh, how quaint. And Baron is the only one without uh, support for the throne. Sar has two. <laughs> so, 7-7. Seven, seven. Necro should be at 7. What did I not give Necro? <laughs> he just got one from Green for not attacking his home system. No, not anymore. He's he's in the dumpster fire now. He didn't get enough stuff. He's in a tailspin. <laughs> Did you see that Mighty Boosh is back on Hulu? Bood. I see all stress. Sorry, I was fixing the scoreboard on my stream. Um, not stream, but recording. All right, agendas. Everyone total up your influence. This is the start of the agenda phase. I don't know if anybody has ancient burial sites, but it's been shuffled back in. Is everyone's influence correct? Green's definitely isn't. All right. Your first. Agenda is Barony should have three. Doop, doop, doop. All right, here we go. This is going in blind. Economic equality directive four. Each player returns all of his trade goods to the supply. Then each player gains five trade goods against each player returns all of his trade goods to the supply. The speaker is Necro. Necro, any when an agenda is revealed. Abilities. Laura. Laura, when? James when? Luke when? Ed when? Joe when? Pan after. Uh, 
Necro's in a weird spot where his predictions to get tech, he has to predict like specific people because he has most of the tech of many players. Okay, Laura after, James after, Luke after, Ed after, last call Joe after. Uh, yeah, we already went once around with when. This is the afters. Nobody had the veto. Oh, the veto is the when. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. So now it's after. Any afters for you? Joe? Okay, no. Dunzo with that. Laura, you're first to vote. We'll try to make this as quick as possible. Laura, how important is it to spend your turn? No votes. James. James. Either way, it's who's over Joe. Either way, it's who's over Joe. Yeah, Laura's right. It's not a big deal. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. This is nothing. Yeah, this is nothing. It's just a matter of, matter of how many pigs that we actually get. Do we want five or zero? Doesn't matter to me. Joe would screw that. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, put, I'll put one. One on four. One four. Make sure you flip the planet. Uh, Luke. Anuses. Luke, your vote. Abstain, got it. Uh, Ed, abstains. Purple. Is that purple abstaining? It's hard to, the voices are all happening at once. Oh, what was that? We almost lost you. Uh, purple, were you abstaining? I'm the last one to vote, right? Yep. Okay, five, four. Make sure you tap the planets. Uh, speaker doesn't vote, but it is now the end of the thing. There are six votes, four. Any action cards? One, two, three. All right, six, four. Economic equality, everyone. Set your total to five trade goods, please. Everyone ready? Yeah. I can fill this into the agenda. Sure thing. I'm going to go through with it. Here we go. Next agenda is Imperial Arbiter Law. Elect player. The elected player gains this card. At the end of the strategy phase, the owner of this card may discard this card to swap one of his strategy cards with another player's strategy card. Necro. When an ability is revealed. Laura, uh, uh, when? Or has got the veto. Laura, when an agenda is revealed? It's moving. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Laura, if you're talking, no one hears you. When an agenda is revealed, are you doing an ability? Okay, uh, nope. James. Nope. Luke. When, 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 when. Ed, when, Ed, when. Joe when? Nope. Necro after. Um, I'm gonna make prediction with Laura. 
Okay, prediction on Laura. Laura, any afters? Okay, uh, no. No. Luke, after? Yes. What you got? Imperial Rider, which way? Or on who, I should say. Not a great time for an Imperial Rider. Sorry, we're not there. Luke, where is this going? There's no way. He, I mean, it's... There's no way he's getting this. I mean, I guess he's just blocking. Yeah, he can put it on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Laura, all right. Anything from you, Ed? Joe? Necro? Laura? James? Last call, Luke. All right, so... It's an Imperial Arbiter, um, someone to swap a strategy card at the end of the strategy phase. Necro and Barony have both predicted Laura. Laura, you're the first vote. Seventeen Sorry, Blue. I'm, I keep fucking you up. <laughs> All right. 17 what? Yeah, he's going to get what he wants anyways. It's Right. Yeah. Everyone at this table wants to get paid for everything. Yeah. Oh damn. Alex Wilburn added the da the sad Dane uh uh thing to our Discord. A picture of Dane Beltrami with a sad face. Oh my god, he's maybe going to give it to Sar. Do it. Do it. You coward. Do it. You listened to that recently? That was literally like a year ago. <laughs> All right, what are you voting? What? What are we talking about? Sixteen on a sorrow. Waiting. Sixteen on Nalu. All right, blue. Make sure you spend those sixteen votes. This is the second. Laura, did you spend all your votes? Can you tap the planets, please? Thank you. Right, I'm 
I'm gonna vote, um Castro. Marley, is there anything you can give us? Uh, yeah, so first I wanted to just point out that Necro with Speaker, with this card, is insane, right? Um, but I'll give you my trade agreement and my political secret. Damn! Okay. I'll take that at a time. Now and the secret, our next <laughs> Trade agreements are like almost worthless at this point. I don't think it's going to end this round, Hunter. I think we're here for a while longer. Because the problem is, Barony only, Barony and Necro only got to seven off the two pointer, and the second two pointer isn't going to help them at all. So s the only person who really has it right now is Sar, and even ha he's got a pretty long shot. Like in the emojis, like if you click the emoji tab under Space Cats Peace Turtles. Probably are. I think we are. Why wouldn't we? Who's got three points? Who's got, I mean, let's see. So. Eight went okay. There we go. Got it. All right. So Imperial Arbor goes to Nalu, and that's the end of the agenda phase. Start of the strategy phase. Um, there's an action card timing, but then it is Necro's turn to pick a strategy card. Let's play a gender. All right, we're in the strategy phase. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. This is the game that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friend. Some people started playing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll just keep on playing it forever just because it's the thing that never ends. Blah, 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 my friend. And baby, blah, 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 <clears throat> so uh, I think uh, Imperial is a great pick for anyone at the table, honestly. Leadership. Go ahead, Laura. This is this is how someone's going to win this game. It's going to be another one where just like five players at the table fall asleep and one person wins because somebody died. <laughs> No, Laura, it's your pick, though. Aw, oh, beans. Well, everyone think long and hard about what you want.
Yeah. Because the well, because the last couple rounds were just wild. This one's just been a slog the whole time, a nonstop slog. Again, because everybody's like trying to wheel and deal, and it just doesn't feel like they're straight up trying to get the objectives. You know, I don't know. That I'm, I'm just saying that out of like exhaustion, but like, it's your turn, Laura. He got leadership. It was your turn when you walked away. Got it. Laura takes Imperial. Isarl. Does Laura see a path to victory here? She might. Let's we'll, we'll, let's take a close look at her stuff. That's true. Green takes Warfare. All right, Luke, you're up. Right. Yeah, right. Mm hmm. Ed? You know, Necro could could see a path, and that's why he took leadership. Necro could see it in the status phase. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, he's got destroy their greatest ship, and he's got a secret objective. So all he needs to do is do a stage one public objective. If he can do both secrets. Well, hang on. Let's. I wanna. Yeah, let me see the rest of these. But does he though? All right, and Joe. Make a deal. Necro needs three tech specialties or eight resources. So Necro could easily bank eight resources. He could care less. He's got so much money. Because there won't... Yeah. Uh, so all the literally the only thing Necro has to do is kill a flagship. Yeah, that's all he's got to do. Or get a new, or get a new secret, like a new action phase secret. The only one is a Sarles in his home system, so no, he doesn't have a shot at it. But now he's, hang on. If he can get the the units in the beta wormhole, he's actually right next to the Sarl homeworld through the beta wormhole. He's very close to that Asaro flagship. He just needs to get through Laura. So if he tries to like game Laura out of the way, then ooh, Tech didn't get picked, but because his other secret objective is four Tech of the same color, which he didn't get last time, because instead he got the Hazardous Plants, which is harder. So yeah, he uh, Pan has a pretty good shot at this actually if he can get. Laura out of the way. No. Because we almost did, and then he, he kind of lost it there right at the end. Let's go, Necro. <laughs> Joe's turn. Oh, why did I think you took... Why did I put you as construction? Oh, he took construction. Got it. That's the problem. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop Imperial just immediately. Right now. Okay. What public objective are you claiming? Okay, two texts and two colors for Nalu. And I need a secret. 
sure thing. Give me just a second. All right, um, so you'll have to return one of those to the pile. Nalu needs to attack a leader. It is all the second era of Imperial. We'll go in order pretty slow. This is going to take a minute, everyone. Hang in tight. All right, I have received one back from Nalu. Uh, Pan, are you back? Pan. Are you doing the secondary of Imperial? He should. No? Okay. Uh, Laura said yes. Boom. All right, Laura, you'll have to return one to me. Yep, I got to wait for Laura to return one. Ah! Ah! And then, Asaro, I'll need you to return one. Make sure you flip it in your hand before you take it out. I say, I say, I say. Yeah. Right. I see the Empire gets given up. All right, White, are you getting one? Yes. Have you guys been spending your... Uh, has everyone spent their token so far? There's Whites. And White, you'll have to return one to me. So he got four cultural planets, not... Not great. Luke, I dealt one to you if you can return one to me. Sure thing. Huh? As a strategy? I don't think you put any in strategy. Oh, wait. He, no, he probably already spent it. Sorry, did you already spend your command counter? Copy that. Roger, Roger. So it looks like Baron is going to give up four PDS, maybe. Maybe he sees a path for four cultural planets, or at least more so than the amount of time it would take him to get PDS. All right, there's SARS. So SAR, that puts you at a total of three, right? So you're, you don't have to return one. So uh, it's now... Joe, you can continue. Wow, yeah, Nalu with Fleet Logistics and Imperial is a big deal. He could have even, if he had been in a position for it, he could have taken a home system and then scored Imperial. <laughs> okay, six fighters versus two fighters. Any start of the combat abilities? Okay, six fighters for purple. Uh, any retreats, yellow? What did he get? Does he need to be adjacent to a home? No, he needs to win a combat against Necro. Okay, uh, so six fighters against two. Go ahead, purple. Yeah, he's going to win this fight, get his action phase, and then he needs to discard five action cards in the status. And that puts him at eight. So if he can get a two-pointer, if he can take a home system, by the end of this round, Nalu's got a shot at beat winning before Necro does. Okay, five, five, five hits against yellow. Purple removed one. One. Combat, Correct. Okay, Sparking Rebellion, Necro is in the lead, so Nalu will go up one point before. All right, Pan. Uh, if Nalu can take a home system, that's his shot. I don't know. I, I'm yeah. I'm not not saying it's a an easy path. He's got the Alpha. But he's, there's all those ships sitting in Lodor, so that's not really a thing. Now, if he can get to Sar's homeworld and just, like... He's got a straight shot to Sar's homeworld. He's just got to win against four fighters, a Dreadnought, and a Cruiser from Necro. So if he can get uh, Necro out of the way, he can probably take Lysus, too. 
So he's got so it's it's really it's Joe or Necro winning this round and probably nobody else. What? He's got three maneuvering jets. He does have a flank speed. So flank speed, as long as he doesn't get sabotage, he can get a lot of stuff into Sar's home system. Insubordination on Nalu? Probably. Oh, because he's got leadership, yeah. But Nalu doesn't... Nalu just needs to do the thing. Like, Nalu's next action, play flank speed and go. He, he can do it. Because he's got a carrier... And two ground forces in range. Um, and a destroyer. Maybe not. Yeah, actually, because the rest of his stuff isn't quite in range. I thought he had more stuff in his home system, but it's just a lot of ground forces in his home system. Um, so, if he can... Yeah. I, I think Barony's Diplo pick comes down to also thinking he's got, he's got a shot, I guess. I don't know, unless he's just trying to block. Hang on. All right, I see three tokens off the Diplo. Again, um, Barony did Diplo, so we need command counters in the Barony homeworld. I owe one from Nalu and Necro. Yeah, Barony's doing Diplo. Nalu, if you can drop a counter. Here it comes. Um, does anybody even have planets that can be refreshed? I don't believe so. So, that's the end of your turn. Uh, Ed. So what's Barony's shot look like? Uh, secret objectives. He's got an action phase to win a combat against a flagship, which he would have to build the flagship. Doesn't have warfare, so he can't easily build it and then move it out. And he needs four cultural planets. So I'm going to go ahead and call his shot gone. There's no way. He doesn't have enough command tokens. He has to build a flagship and take three cultural planets. So, not seeing it. Yeah, if Nalu can... If, if Necro moves stuff out of Abyss Freya, actually, Nalu's shots aren't too bad. Because Nalu can bring... Two more ground forces and two more fighters from Meharzul. James and Joe heading a secret conversation. <laughs> He's in there. He may not know it yet. I moved him in there. He was going, how do I join it as I moved him? Okay. Oh, shit. Sar, where did you get all the trade goods? I forget. Sar, where did you get all the trade goods? Okay. Sar, I forget. Where did you get all of your trade goods from? Didn't you give those to a Sarl? Asara, where did you get all of your trade goods? I'm just trying to figure out... That's right, he's in the conversation. I just don't know what uh, the other deals were. I think it's... 
Hang on. A sorrel. All you have to do is double click the channel, but no problem. Um, hey, do you, James, how did you get so many trade goods? Got it. And then, Sar, where did you get your like two extra or one extra or whatever it was? I got some from some people both times. Was that? I don't remember. Everybody else has five though. Actually, Barony also has more than five. Just trying to figure out where all these trade goods came from. Remind me what the agenda is. Imperial Arbiter and Economic Equality. So Economic Equality happened, and then everybody was at five, and then Imperial Arbiter. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes, Barony makes sense. Politics had one. Yep. Cool. All right. All is right in the universe. Right. Okay, Ed. So you built. What's your action? Did you already place those units? Okay. Activating Mechatol Rex. Bold play. Guess he's trying to set up for next round. Anyways, what was the secret conversation? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what he needs. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right. What did James say? Is he maybe taking him up on it? Oh, okay. No. I mean, I don't I don't buy nearly as many situations of king making that most people do. Sorry, is that final movement? No, I'm thinking I'm going to leave the space dock um, behind. Okay. Yeah. Right. Gift of the Prussians ain't nothing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Right. Alrighty, any start of combat? Hang on, do you have cruiser two? No. Then this is too many ground forces. One ground force per dreadnought. So you have one too many ground forces. One needs to stay behind with the something, I don't know where. Okay. Ed? Hold on, I don't understand where the... I'm going to take the infantry from... You had at least two in the asteroid field. No, it's about capacity. You can only bring three because of capacity. Right, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying, if that's what you're asking. Each dreadnought... I get it. Uh, James Luke wants to have a secret chat with you. <laughs> if you double click the, the secret convo button, it should do it. Okay, start of combat. Ed, any start of combat abilities? Not for me, no. This is also first round of combat. Okay, at the start of a combat round, I would like to play Heraldry. 
Okay, any other start of combat or start of combat round abilities? Okay, morale boost goes on the sheet. You're good. And uh, any retreats? Okay, uh, so I see three dreadnoughts and one cruiser for blue. Go ahead. And I see one dreadnought, one destroyer, one carrier, two fighters for red. Go ahead when you're ready. Both of you can roll. Two hits for blue, zero hits for red. Okie dokie. What are you taking your hits on, blue? Or sorry, blue's not taking any hits. Okay. It's a dreadnought too. So you can just put it back in your hand. Okay, killing the destroyer to kill the cruiser. I would say so. All right, I see a second round of combat. Three dreadnoughts versus one dreadnought, one carrier, one fighter. And no morale boost. Go ahead, blue. Two hits for blue, one hit for red. So both of you account for your hits. Red, two hits. Two dreads are getting, or one dread getting tapped for blue. Fighter and carrier gone for red. Third round of combat. I still see three dreads. Go ahead, blue. And go ahead, red. One dreadnought. One hit. One hit each. All right. Uh, are you invading? There's three dreadnoughts with bombardment, no plasma scoring. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, they really need to hit. I mean, he needs to hit two hits because even two hits isn't good. He needs all three hits. Two hits. It's still a 2v2. <laughs> Are you uh, sending ground forces to an in invasion combat? Blue. Yeah, I okay, so three invading one. This is the start of invasion. Yeah. Great, so 2v2. Okay, before we do that. <laughs> All right, 2v2. All right, uh, aggressor, roll your two versus the um, defending two. It's not going to be good enough. No hits. No hits. Round two. One hit. No hits. 2v1. One hit, no hits. Uh, blue takes Mechatol Rex. Is that the end of your turn, Blue? Here is the Mechatol Rex card. No, it's the start of combat. Start of an invasion. All right, Laura, your turn. Damn. I mean, I guess he's just, he, again, this is just trying to set up for next round, which I really don't feel like there's going to be one anymore. Mm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did I 
Yeah, it's construction. I see it now. All right. Uh, construction is being played. You're good. Anybody doing the secondary all the way around? Any secondaries? Go ahead and say now. Yes or no, please, in the chat. I see a yes from purple. Uh, blue or white? Anything for you guys? Construction. Purple, don't forget to activate the system that you construct in. Blue or white? Are you guys constructing? Purple is not constructing. Okay. And Luke, was that a no? All right, go ahead, James. Oh. Oh, the flagship. Using the flagship for its intended purpose to sneak through stuff. Isarl has activated Arnor lore. Looks like the flagship's moving through stuff. What's he need? He needs to blockade a space dock, so this ain't that. I don't know what he's doing. Did he make a deal with someone about these industrial planets? What was the uh, conversation between him and the last person he talked to? Uh, Isarl, James. He talked to somebody recently. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. What? What's he doing? I don't understand. Oh, warfare. He's going to go. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he sure is. He might see it. All right, uh, Joe, you're up. Yeah, Necro might see it and opt to build in his home next action he's got plenty of money the don't forget though that necro needs to keep eight resources that's his best shot he has to keep eight resources just sorrel's making the wrong statement maybe he's lying but he needs to take never mind i don't know what he's talking about <laughs> this is quite a case to plead. I would not have um, made this an option on the table. I, you need to just do it. You know? Talking through this one is not... You, he just, like, turned Necro onto his plan. He's offering... Oh, he's offering Gift of the Prescience to... to so Necro might actually take it if it's if he's convinced enough. Oh, no. Necro's not going to fall for it. Yeah, Necro knows it's this round or nothing. Yep. Oh, man. He has to just... Oh, no, 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 Nalu. He has no... Yeah, he had no other way to stall. This was it. I mean, this... Because... It... Necros. Okay, go ahead. There is a flank speed coming out for Nalu after activating the SAR home system. Looks like it is going through. Necro has a sabotage. I don't know why he's not. I guess he thinks he can... Oh, Necro's got a Courageous to the end. Never mind. This is over. And an experimental battle station with a space dock, or a, yeah, space dock next door. This is over. Nalu can't win this fight at all. Like, not even close. Unless he gets... Unless Necro gets completely horrible... Oh, wait! Wow. Necro had the hand. Necro's got a parlay. So this this is completely a faulty. Necro has like six ways to Sunday to stop this attack. So super over. Feels like feels like Necro's game. 
All right, end of movement. Um, we are at the in between movement and. Is that a is that a yeah? You're playing a card, or what is happening? Okay. Okay, experimental battle station comes out. This will be giving uh, the space dock next door three space cannon rolls on a five. Yeah, add a space dock. Actually, give. Um. Yes. Try hitting the SBC. Yeah, it should do it. It might not be though. We might have to just fake it with. Uh, there it goes. One hit. Maneuvering jets. Yeah, I just took it off. Um, so maneuvering jets blocks the shot. Uh, okay, start of combat. Any start of combat abilities? Start of space combat or start of space combat round? Right. Um, so with no abilities, it is now anti-fighter barrage. There's one destroyer. Go ahead. It's not over. If anti-fighter barrage nails it, it's possible. It's bad. One hit. So one fighter. All right. Um, so any retreats or withdraws? Okay. I see one destroyer, two fighters, and a carrier for Nalu. Go ahead. And then I see a Dreadnought, a cruiser, and three fighters for Necro. Go ahead. No, there's no way. It's it's He didn't get enough. Well, three hits for Nalu. Two hits for yellow. So uh, purple take two hits. Yellow take three hits. And he's got dread too, so it's not really a big deal. A sustained damage dreadnought and two fighters go for yellow. And a destroyer and one fighter go for Nalu. Second round of combat, any retreats or withdraws? I see one carrier and one fighter. For Nalu, I see one Dread, one Cruiser, one Fighter for Necro. Go ahead, Nalu. Hmm. Two hits against none could pull this out. Two hits, one Fighter. So one Dreadnought, one Cruiser, one Fighter. Well, no, exactly. It, it is over, actually. And he doesn't have a Sabotage. He could try to pay someone off for a Sabotage, but they'll, just all, they'll all call it King-making. Two hits, so each of you need to two two hits, please. Okay, Necro, what are you getting rid of? One fighter, one cruiser. Yeah, that's uh, Nalu's game, basically. All right, is that uh, the end of your turn? Okay, Pan, you're up. Poor Nalu. Shot in the dark, but... With Necro being the specific person with leadership, his his options were pretty limited. Didn't have enough stall potential. He shouldn't have put so many in strategy. He did not need so many counters in strategy. He needed to give himself all the options. Oh, so Necro's just nipping this one in the butt. So Necro is invading Arnor lore. Let me know when your movement is done. Uh, activation in Arnor lore.
sure. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. He needs this. This is exactly. Well, yeah, he wanted him to come to him, and this is exactly it. Yeah, we just weren't thinking about it. He was waiting for this moment. If he wins this, I mean, he will. So this puts him at eight. And then he has the tech objective in the bag. He just needs to hold on to eight resources, which means the only thing that could stop him is if everybody jumps on his resource planets. But he has four in his home system, so. Three fighters going through Gravity Rift, is that what you said? Okay. We'll roll three dice. I will say, I think you're committing one too many fighters. Correct. This is then your third fleet supply. Yeah, just one. All right. Uh, so is that the end of your movement? All right. Uh, start of combat abilities. Anybody? No. Skilled retreat can, but regular retreat cannot. Because. Um, all right. So no start of combat abilities, sounds like. So I see two dreadnoughts. What's that, Asarl? Uh, no, you'll just, you'll just hit it once. It knows how many dice the flagship um, has. So uh, pan, two dreadnoughts. One, two, three, four, five, six fighters. Go ahead. Yeah, this is this is the game though. Five hits. All right, uh, flagship. Two hits from the All right, that is a successful combat. He destroyed their greatest ship. That is a secret objective for the Necro. Is that the end of your turn, Necro? I would build in my home system now. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I forgot we had uh, bombardment. Okay. Uh, anything else, Necro? It's worth pointing out you did dis you destroy a unit. You did destroy a unit, but I think you have all of the tech of this Arl, so. All right, what's your second action? Build a home system, but leave eight available. Of course, you don't want to build too much too, because if anybody takes, again, if anybody takes planets from him, he needs to have eight resources at the end of this round. Because it's either that or three tech specialties. He only has two. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So five trade goods and his home planet is enough. Yep. Because nobody can steal trade goods. Yeah, so he's just doubling down on his home system, and he's he's done. I mean, next turn he plays leadership, and the next turn he passes, and it's over. Uh, Luke, looks like you're up. So this is going to be a Necro win. To build even more, yeah. Well, and nobody's even calling it out or anything, and not nobody's in range. I mean, that literally the SRO flagship was the only thing that could even make it. All right, then nebulas are no longer 
able to be gone through. Uh, Blue, Ed, your turn. I'm excited for the game to end. I'm excited for a Necro win. He played a solid game the whole time. I mean, lots of dealing. Back and forth for him, you know, in terms of his pie slice. Yeah, yeah, he's not... I'm not messing around with your weird deals. I'm just... All right, are you taking the speaker token, Ed? Okay, uh, politics. I'm going to deal things out. So here comes two action cards for blue. Here comes two agendas for blue. Who's getting action cards? Purple is... Looks like uh, yellow is... Red is. Green, are you doing the second? Yes, you are. Uh, da -da -da, white, no. And that's the end of that. All right. Don't forget to discard down if you're above seven. I don't think anybody is. And. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. There you go. All right. Uh, you said on bottom. Where are they? Both? So both on bottom. Got it. So we're getting rid of a cripple defenses. And Laura, your turn. So who else is doing stuff that's going to stall this game out? Warfare, everyone's going to build off of. Okay. Activating Thibba, building a Dreadnought. Uh, James. Or did you mean to spend seven? Oh, two. I see. Okay, you're good. Uh, what is the auction card? There it is. Frontline deployment from Isaro. Three infantry on a planet he controls. Uh, okay, Joe. Looks like three on Tarman. Okay, uh, Joe passes back to Pan. Yeah, it's over. Well, at, at that last, the, the failed combat was also the end of it. And, oh, no, actually, he also literally has nothing he can do. He has no action action cards, and he's out of tactics. So, yeah, he's, he's just straight up and down done. Yeah, Necro should just leadership and get out of here. Laura's going to pass on her next turn. Ed's got one action left. asaro has got a bunch of shenanigans that can still happen, but it's not enough to get him anywhere. But I could see him trying to play it all out just to get somewhere on the board. But that uh, Asaro, or that uh, flagship play was kind of his last-ditch effort, and it didn't work out. Just Joe. Pan's thinking about his turn at the moment. Is he building? So building at star point, five fighters for two resources. Oh, four fighters. Got it. Yeah, 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 of course. Ed's rising a messiah.
go ahead and rise that messiah. Uh, Laura, your turn. Okay, Laura passes. James. What the fuck ours? All right, James. Okay, Nalu activates the SAR homeworld. Movement, is that the end of your movement? All right, any start of combat abilities, Necro or uh, James? Uh, the, the SAR home system is just getting targeted by uh, a Sarl. So any start of combat abilities. Uh, yeah, start of combat or start of combat round. Okay, emergency repairs. The dreadnought is revived. <laughs> Blast! <laughs> All right, anything for Asarl? All right, go ahead and uh, roll combat. Uh, Asarl, one carrier. Yellow, one dreadnought. It's worth noting Asarl also has an unexpected action in addition to warfare. Zero hits for yellow. One hit for green. Sustained damage. Sorry, I did it for you, my bad. Uh, okay, second round of combat. Go ahead. Yellow gets one hit. Green, no hits. He's got nothing. All right, Necro wins that combat. Is that the end of your turn, Asarl? Okay. Uh, Joe is out. Pan, back to you. You've successfully stalled out leadership. Aegeon? Who you hitting? Okay. Uh, <laughs> James. Okay, I'll just take. Just yeah, whatever. We can search the deck yellow. Uh, will you be doing a second action pan? Okay. No. Uh, he's magioning, so uh, Luke, you can go ahead and go. All right, Green, you're good to draw your hand back. Ah, uh, James, stop, stop. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll deal with this. Just drop it. Okay. All right, go ahead, Luke. He took his unexpected action, which is yeah, kind of his only other thing. It's, it's really just mitigating threats at this point. And so locking down, yeah. Yeah, he's really covered his bases here. Um, right, yeah. It's very over, yeah. He's still got a courageous to the end. Right. What's up, Luke? I wish in moments like this we could just be like, it is super over, <laughs> we're ending it. I mean, obviously, we can't, because there's like, we've seen a million things happen before. We've seen mistakes, but...
Okay, moving to Corny Cresculon. Did you... Do you have Light Wave Deflector? No. How are you getting through the carrier? Oh, I'm sorry. Alpha to... I get it. Nope. Ignore me. All right. Are you bombarding? No one got PDS2 this round. That's correct. Yep, yep. Four. Oh yeah, there's no retreat. Uh, go ahead and roll that bombardment. You two shots on one planet. Which planet? All right, Cornique. So uh, add one dreadnought and then hit the PS button for plasma scoring and then hit bombardment. I think it always mess. If I ever hit these buttons, it messes it up. Like it just doesn't know what to do about a game master hitting buttons, and so it's so hard to like point things in the right direction for everyone. Two hits. Ground force on Cornik dies. How are you splitting up your invasion, or are you? Might as well do one, because he's. This is his cultural planet, Gambit. He's only got one. This is two of them. All right. 3v1 on Resculon. Go ahead. Um, there's an invasion starting on Resculon. Three for white. One for purple. Go ahead, white. White, are you rolling your combat? No hits from purple. Two hits from white. Ground force needs to go. So Cornik and Resculon move over to the white player. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Luke? Okay, Ed. All right, this is Ed's last activation. This is this is nothing. Uh, or is this his fourth industrial? No, it's his third industrial. So this is meaningless. All right, Sacculag Lazar has been activated. Go ahead. Uh, slash black. And that is forward slash. Be be careful with that. I think it's forward slash, right? Am I blind? Hold on. Let me test it. I use whispers. Okay. You can also just message me on Discord if it's any easier. Oh, I will. He's probably going to say he's got it. Like he knows he's got it. He's asking, we can't just call it? I'm like, no, we can't. I know. It's like really late for him. So we're moving through the trigger landing. He was a final. <laughs> okay, building at Lazar Saculag. Did you get your planets yet? Looks like it. I don't know. I don't know. All right. He's building. Uh, Laura has passed. James, it's your turn. James is building at home. I can't whisper you. Upgrading the cruiser to a dis uh, dreadnought. Go ahead. And then build. Um, next up will be Pan. 
while Asaro builds. Uh, Ed, have you figured out your build yet? No, I do need some time. I'm going to be some Jack infantry for sure. Sorry, it's my turn now. Yeah, um, two players are building, but if you're cool with that, uh, blue and green are building. Blue's building at Lazar Sakulag. Okay, unexpected action. Which token are you lifting? Okay, lifting Arnor Lore's token. Uh, any other actions for you? Okay, it'll go back around to Luke. Luke, your turn. But... Um, Ed is still building adjacent to your home system. Um, right. And then what are you building? Oh, he's building his flagship again, trying to... <laughs> Round two <laughs> with the flagship. Okay. Ed? <laughs> yeah, Crap. So <sighs> no. No, he's out. Leadership is his next action. No. Uh, bu 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 bu. No. So, yeah. After loot goes. Mm hmm. I uh, know it's Luke's turn. Yep. Come on, everybody. What do you got? <sighs> Jesus. I don't know. What is he doing? Where is he going? I didn't see it. Barony activating Centauri Grawl. One Dreadnought, two with Gravity Drive. Okay, uh, there is a fighter in the system that you'll have to fight through first. All right, uh, so start of combat abilities. Uh, dreadnought and one fighter. One Dreadnought for white, one fighter for purple. All right. Roll, 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 roll. One dreadnought. One hit. Both of you got one hit, so everyone account for a hit. And now you can roll your bombardment. I'll be right back. Alright, here's the bombardment. Two hits on Centauri. So the ground force dies. Are you invading Centauri? Alright, Centauri goes over to Barony. A solid effort by Barony. This put him... Oh dear. Who owned those planets?
All right. Um, has Centauri exchanged hands yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, that was Luke's turn. Ed, your turn. Why do people always draw tokens into their hand? I don't understand how that even happens. Yeah, it's Ed's turn. So that he got his four cultural planets, but he never got to do his um, flagship, obviously. I thought it went over there. Uh, it might be in front of you. It's right here, in front of you. All right, Ed, what are you doing? just don't even know what's going on. What what is your action? Do you have an action? I think I'm about to pass. Okay. Okay. Uh Laura has also passed. James, you're up. Warfare. Warfare. Anyone building in their home system, speak up or type it in chat, please. Type in chat if you're building in your home system. I see yes for purple. I see yes for white. I see no for blue. Uh, yes for yellow. Laura, are you building in your home? No. Okay. So we got three builds, and then it's Pan's turn. So Pan, when you're done building, you can take an action. I see six fighter or ground forces. Got it. Go ahead, Pan. Um, sure thing. What token did you remove, um, Isaro? Home system? Looks like it. Okay. Um, what are you building? Purple. Pan, you can go ahead and go. Blue, red, and purple. All right, leadership is getting popped. Post and chat if you're buying command counters. I see your purple getting a carrier and six fighters. White, have you decided on your build yet? No secondary for leadership for purple. Anyone else doing the secondary leadership? James is. Uh, let's see. Next up is Luke's turn as well. Unless, well, sorry. Um, Pan, are you doing a second action? Oh, sweet Christ. It's a fact that we have to wait on builds. That are absolutely meaningless is the worst, the worst sin. But they're not even looking, right? They're not like he scored a thing. He's at eight. He's in the lead, and no one thought to look at like his stuff and say anything about it. I suspect Laura is incredibly quiet right now. What I suspect is happening is Laura is fully aware, um, but is opting to not say anything because she does, she knows she doesn't have it. And so it's like, why stall the game out when Necro's got it? Cause all, all it would lead to is a bunch of people doing like meaningless attacks. So I really do think Laura knows and just knows there's just nothing that can be done about it. So why, why pipe up? Yes, it is. You can still do it. You're building. You can still do leadership if you would like to. It's literally happening just before your turn, so that there's really no timing that has been missed.
I mean, if I were in Necro's position, I would I would call it out. Like, I would just be like, hey, guys, I have, like, a million ground forces on my home system. It's over. Just say it so that people stop doing this. That's usually my... I mean, I guess that's my take in casual games. You don't want to completely fuck yourself over in a... Um, no. Right. How many command counters are you getting, Luke? Just one? Two. Okay. Three. Got it. There's seven up here. There's one more on your sheet for eight. And you've got Renterra sitting there. Okay, and then it's your turn. Nothing. The game is over. <laughs> oh, did he build it? Oh, he just built his flagship off of Warfare, and he never activated his home system. All right, activating Dalbutha as Exxon, and then moving a flagship, a Dreadnought, some more movement. So this, I mean, what this does is this actually puts him in a situation where he could have won. So, so Barony, I'll give Barony credit. We're, we're saying he's done, but, like, he's doing every single thing he can to also win, and he's got diplomacy. So, like, he's pushing for it just as much as Necro should be. It's just that Necro is going to win before him. Because um, Barony... Uh, he's already got his four cultural planets. Uh, or no, this will be his fourth cultural planet, and he'll win a combat with his flagship, which are his two secrets. So that sets him to nine. He just needs to do a public. All right, end of movement. Uh, any start of combat uh, round abilities? He's going for cultural. Does he have... How many does he have? No, he only has three. This is five, but he doesn't even care about the five. He just cares about the four and then a stage one public. What's the stage one public? Oh, four of the same trait. The same thing. But that's this is the same. No, this is the same thing. So he, he would be winning. Barony would be winning if Necro wasn't winning, basically. This, this. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not either. I'm just realizing that I didn't realize he was building his flagship off warfare and, and holding out for that. So, all right. Uh, so I see one flagship. Two dreadnoughts versus one carrier, one fighter. Any retreats green? If you retreated home, you would have to lose ships. All right. Uh, one flagship, two dreadnoughts. Go ahead and roll white. Oh, bourbon, oh, bourbon, oh, bourbon. <laughs> All right. Two hits. Green, go ahead. Two hits. Both of you account for two hits, please. There's no more shields holdings. Carrier and fighter are gone. Okay, sustained damage on both dreadnoughts. Is that what you said? Oh, with NES. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you won the space combat. I'm 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 whisper chatting him right now because I'm not gonna sit here while he misses is the timing. Uh, we see unveil flagship come out. Um, the flagship won a combat, so Barony goes up one point. That's me interfering. Um, that's me interfering because I know it doesn't matter. <laughs> but he literally almost missed that timing window. Okay, um, so your flagship has a bombardment of 
uh, three dice on five. And then one more Dreadnought. And then as your where's your plasma scoring being assigned? I would do three and three. Just split the Dreadnoughts. So uh, five shots on Dalbutha and one on Exxon. Okay, so four shots on Dalbutha. Go ahead. One flagship, one Dreadnought, and then hit Bomb. <laughs> okay, that's a dead ground force. And then uh, one Dreadnought plus Plasma Scoring. All right, one hit. That's a dead ground force. You've got five infantry. How are you splitting them up? And Dalbutha Exxon jumps over to the barony. No, he had... Oh, he sure did. Wait. Yeah, he has Lodor. So this is six. So he super wins with that. All right. You got both those planets. It's the end of your turn. You got Dalbutha Exxon. I put him on your sheet. Uh, Ed has passed. Laura has passed. James, you're up. Oh, my God. Attacking Wellen. Flagship. This is for tech skips. Three ground forces. Invading Wellen with three ground forces. Three from Asarl, go ahead. Right. 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 They should just know. They straight up know that Barony has it. One hit. Uh, yellow, are you returning fire? Panster, are you there, Pan? One ground force. Roll. He invaded Wellen, so your one ground force needs to roll to return fire. Unless, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we've been kind of flying through this one a little bit. He has the parlay, I guess, but nobody gives a shit. Okay, so Pan, it's your turn again. Just pass, just pass, just pass. You're done. 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 No, you're done. Just pass it. Okay. Pan passes. Luke, your turn. Luke should pass. Unless he's gonna build in his home or something, but he's out of resources. Luke. Activating Lodor. Building two ground forces. Is that what I'm hearing? What the fuck is going on? All right. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Ed has passed. Laura has passed. James. What are you doing? Ah! Okay, the space dock on the asteroid field dies. Uh, back around to Luke. Yeah, there's a sabotage window. <sighs> We're back to this again. A reactor meltdown on the space dock in the asteroid field of SAR.
This has been an hour. What? Nobody can nobody can play action cards against the sorrow right now. Anyways, Transpare is still playing. Only Luke is allowed to do so. So Luke, it's your turn. When nothing matters. Yeah, if we feel like it. We we are really not honorable judges at all. All right, James, you're up. You're the only one. <laughs> James, you fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. Oh, James. <laughs> He's going to deliberate. It's the salvage and a bribery. It's the two worst action cards. All right, James, it's your turn again. Pass. James passes. Okay, Nalu, can you claim any objectives? Okay, Pan, can you claim any objectives? Ladies, gentlemen, robots, space emperors, please give a hand for the necrovirus. They have now reached 10 points, and that is the end of the game. Necro wins. Congratulations. And it should be noted, Barony was moments away. Barony also had it in the bag. <laughs>